what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. With a star squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs> that was the saddest movie I've ever seen. How the raccoon got abandoned by its mom and all. Oh. Yeah, but Molly, at the end, the raccoon got a new family. That was so nice. I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people too. Uh, Molly, raccoons are people. They're animals, you know? Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh? Laugh at a time like this. It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well, then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot, so I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no-go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy and I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly. I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers. Looney Tunes. Molly, knock it off. Seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me, it's not as cool as you think. Whoa, it looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look, Brookie, you were right. It's a blizzard out here. Brr, it's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean, if if it's that bad out. No, it's, it's, uh, you can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house, and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't what you do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like ten minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school for at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls. Well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do. I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. 
Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly. I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No, was it yours? No. It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't heal someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used that used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh, my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay, so it's okay, you can say it. Molly, he's trying. You, I better go start a file. That that might warm him up some. G good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I, I am you, 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 What? Your blah, 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 blah. What's a blah, 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 blah? Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, 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 your b b b b brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop, jeepers. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, frozen dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh. oh, look, he's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly, I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look, he's not blue anymore. He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, that probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning, I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research, and I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey! Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just, I just got the records this morning, and I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow, but found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am! Our fans know everything about our lives! And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long-lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted, and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair, and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. 
Oh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I, I never was around you guys, but, but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Brookie, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out. I'm, I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters and I'm your brother. Yeah, what are you talking about, Daisy? Don't be rude to Levi. He just, she just saved our house. Um, well, uh, Daisy, I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out. What? Yeah, why don't you, um, become my plumber or something? Molly, that's not very nice. Well, I'm just telling you, your booty is hanging out. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> I guess this, um, these pants are a little too small. Yeah, you think so? Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Blocksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blocksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, because we were siblings pale and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well then I can come in. Um, oh man, you look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well... I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally. Well, I'm playing Roblox and Bookie's playing Roblox too, so uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah. How about you, Levi? I love Roblox. Are you guys noobs though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know. A creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do. You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will in a minute. I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> Daisy, 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 Daisy. What? Oh, my gosh. You're so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my 
sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Molly, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail. About puppies and kittens? Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, suit yourself. I'm going to Brookie's and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework, it's research. Okay, whatever, it all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring. I can't wait to go to Brookie's house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but whatever, her mom just like loves plants. So <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly! No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm going to have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're going to be eating a lot of squash. Yeah, you do live in a crazy house, though, and I think it's really cool. Thanks! Hey, you want to come to my room? Yeah, totally! Let's go! So, Brookie, tell me the truth. Come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. Well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Ha, ha, ha. No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. Wow. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why? Anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Aw, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys gonna, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you gonna be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. She seems nice enough today, anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are like you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why? What were they saying? They were saying that like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back. Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but, like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. Well, okay, but I mean, maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, you guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> well, 
that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying, perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm gonna write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of like sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'll just chill over here then and like play on my phone or something. Ooh, a new obby! <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? Gosh, I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me, and then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear! You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything! This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here! Well, fine, you don't get to be my best friend anymore! Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either as soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home! Oh, hey, Molly! I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that at that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Molly, you have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd you think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies! She's not my friend. Ever. Again! Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, uh, studying. Yeah, that's it. Are you really studying? Uh, well, uh, not really. I'm just watching Brooke High pretending I'm studying. Molly, you're gonna fail that test tomorrow. Well, what's new? <laughs> Molly, do you want to repeat the grade you're in? Holy guacamole, not really. Well, you're gonna if you don't stop actually studying. Now turn off the TV. Okay, Miss Bossy. Ugh, my sister thinks she's perfect at everything. No, not perfect at everything. Just most things. <laughs> Who wants to read Shakespeare anyway? Boring! Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Who is that? Ah! It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I already saw you, so don't try running away. Oh, man, it's Sarah. Well, I guess you have to let her win. Come on in, Sarah. What are you doing here? It's not like we're friends or something. Oh, well, I'm doing some studying. <laughs> you don't want to come here to study. I'm terrible at studying. Yeah, she really is, Silva. No one asked you. Okay, rude. Uh, just so you know, you're in my house right now, so your rudeness level should be at zero. Yeah, your rudeness level should be at zero. Well, I came here to study, uh, you know, a loser. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're the loser, Molly, so I'm here to study you. Can you believe her right now? She just came into my house, Daisy, and she's being super rude. Actually, I wouldn't put this past Sarah at all. It's sort of a personality. 
So, uh, why are you studying a loser? Not that I am one. Well, it just seems like you losers actually have friends. And, um, well, uh... And you don't have any real friends at all? Oh, you noticed. Yeah, of course we did, Sarah. It's not hard to see that you eat your lunch by yourself. Except for those cronies that you make eat lunch with you. Yeah, are they even your real friends? Uh, well, uh, not really. Look, I need a genuine real friend in my life. I'm kind of lonely. Really? You're admitting this to us? Yeah, but I'll bully you if you tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I can't figure out why I don't have any friends, so I'm here to, like, study someone who has real friends. Wow, I guess it's sort of a compliment. Don't take it that way. Hmm, how can I help Sarah figure out why she doesn't have a genuine friend? Hmm, hmm. Don't mind my sister. She always paces back and forth when she's trying to figure something out. I've got it! Okay, what is it, loser? I have a magic potion that'll shrink Daisy and I down, and we can climb inside your ear and go into your brain and see why you don't have any real friends. Say what? Malia, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, Sarah's kind of negative. We might never find our way back out of her brain. Are you for real right now? Yeah, my sister is a scientist. She figured out how to make the potion. Uh, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. It's a great idea! Now sit down and don't worry. I feel like I'm like a science experiment. That's because you are! Daisy, go get the potion. I mixed it with a shamrock shake from McDonald's because St. Patty's Day is coming up. Plus, those are delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to drink that! Is this a potion or like a treat? A little bit of both, Sarah. A little bit of both. Okay, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, Marley, you have some. I don't feel anything yet. Give it a minute, Marley. Give it a minute. Whoa, I'm getting smaller. Holy guacamole, I feel so small. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, look, Daisy. I think we're at Sarah's house. Whoa, her mom drives a Ferrari? That's amazing. Right, Marley? What's this all about? I mean, I didn't think Sarah was so rich. Well, she does wear designer clothes. Look, my mommy's home. Oh, I haven't seen her in a whole week. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, honey. Just got back from Hawaii. What an amazing girls trip it was. Mommy, mommy, mommy. It's so good to see you. Whoa, Sarah's totally different, Marley. Yeah, she really is. When she was a kid, she wasn't grumpy at all or mean, it seems. Uh, I guess it's good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks, Mommy. Um, Guess what? Today on my spelling test, I got a 99. And I didn't even have a grown-up to help me study. Isn't that amazing, Mommy? No, it's horrible. Why didn't you get a 100 on your test? Ugh, you're such a disappointment. Go to your room and study harder. Oh, okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Wow. Sarah's mom is, well, mean. I know. That kind of broke my heart, Molly. Sarah was nice. Some other things must have happened to her to make her the way she is. Look, Molly, it's the first day of school. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, you slept in till noon. <laughs> Oopsie! Mom, Mom, it's my first day of school. I'm wearing my new outfit, and doesn't my hair look cute? Ugh, look at your hair. I know, right? I spent a whole hour on it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Go brush it. and Don't do it in pigtails again. Who's she being mean to about pigtails? Pigtails are totally fashionable and adorable if I say so myself. Okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you think that they would look ugly. I'll go brush my hair and do something different with them. <laughs> Ugh, kids are so annoying. You're the meanest mom ever! You're so mean! Molly, she can't hear you. This is one of Sarah's memories. It's not real. Well, I'm just telling you. You're rotten and you made Sarah into a bully! Whoa, Molly, I think we're going somewhere else. Whoa! What are 
are we doing at the school at 6 o'clock at night? I don't know. Everybody else has gone home. But Sarah's still here practicing? Be aggressive. Ugh. Why can I not remember this cheer? I'm never going to be cheerleading captain. My mom will think I'm a total loser. All right, I have to be perfect. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -E. Oh, I've got to try again. Whoa. Sarah so practiced this much after school in order to be the cheerleader captain? Yeah, I had no idea. Seems like she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be, well, perfect. Whoa! Daisy, I think we're going someplace new! Whoa! These memories are making me dizzy! Hello, I have a appointment to get my hair and nails done, and they need to look perfect. Oh, yes, Sarah, I remember you. Remember me? I did your hair for the first time last time. Yeah, I remember. And one of my hairs was out of place, and I did not tip you for that. I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to let it happen again. Having perfection is pretty much impossible, though. Well, you better figure it out. Oh, look who it is, Sarah. Um, you feeling a little bit uh, ugly and need to look pretty again? No, that's not why someone comes to the salon. I mean, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just here because, well, I need to have my nail fillers done again. So you're not perfect either. Oh, no, I'm totally perfect. I was just saying that you have some hair out of place there and you look, well, a little under the weather because you have a pimple on your face. Wait, what? A pimple? No, I don't. Actually, dear, yes, you do. But don't worry, I can give you a nice exfoliation so you look better afterwards. Ah, a pimple? No, I have to be perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like maybe I'll have to take over as cheerleading captain since you have that hideous thing on your face. What? Just a pimple? I mean, I don't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, I was actually talking about your nose. Ugh, it's way too big. No cheerleading captain can have a nose like that. What's wrong with my nose? My nose is fine! I, I, I am perfect! I'm totally perfect! Holy guacamole! That was a crazy trip through your brain, Sarah. Yeah, no kidding. No wonder you're grumpy and a bully. Whatever. Can you tell me how to have a friend? Like a real one? Um, yeah, we can think about that. Uh, I'm really sorry about your home life. Seems like your mom is really judgmental. Yeah, she expects me to be perfect, so that's exactly what I am. Perfect. Your mom seems really self-centered. And, like, she doesn't really care about anybody but herself. Rude! Yeah, tell me about it. My mom at least makes me pancakes and stuff. My mom's never made me a pancake in her entire life. She is pretty, well, selfish. Yeah, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, I think I'm growing again! Whoa, that was weird! Tell me about it, Marley. When the potion wears off, it feels strange. Hey, Sarah, I have a, I have a solution to why you don't have any friends. Oh, good. Tell me how losers have friends. Well, that's just the thing, Sarah. We're not perfect. Sometimes we are losers. Sometimes we have pimples or a hair out of place. Sometimes we don't make cheerleading captain. Sometimes we get detention. But we're real. We don't act like robots. We don't act perfect all the time. We are genuine human beings. Wait, what? People actually like you because, like, you're losers? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're human. So basically, I just have to try to, like, be a mess in my life and people will like me? Yeah, exactly. Just like Molly. Everyone's a mess. Everyone loves her because she's a mess. Daisy! <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Sarah, we could be your friends if you want. That is, if you stop bullying us and, you know, be a decent human being. I'll have to think on this, losers. But, um, this was weird. And don't tell anybody at school you got inside my brain. Uh, no, trust me. No one wants to know anything about your brain. And Sarah, you don't have to be perfect. You could be just yourself. I'll think about it. Bye, losers! Okay, that was the weirdest Wednesday night ever. <laughs> you're telling me, Daisy, you're telling me. Look, Brookie, this is where we go to gymnastics class. Whoa, this
this place looks amazing. Yeah, we've been learning so many things. Leaps and turns, tumbling. Yeah, it's been so much fun. But the first thing we have to do is get ready for class. What do you do to get ready for class? The first thing you have to do is put on your gymnastics outfit. And there's a lot to choose from, so you can decide which one you like best. Oh, whoa, look at this one with the flames on it. Holy guacamole, that is so cool. That's definitely the one that I want. Let me have it! Okay, maybe this one's broken. I'm not sure. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It wasn't broken. It worked. <laughs> I figured it out. And now I look adorable for my gymnastics class. Um, Molly, I think that I'm going to be really awesome at gymnastics. You totally are. Whoa, Pookie, your hair looks beautiful. And I love your gymnastics outfit. Thanks, Molly. You're my best friend. You always say nice things about me. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It's time for the best gymnastics class ever. Come on, Molly, let's go in and get started. Whoa, Daisy, your outfit's, um, too much like mine, change it. Molly, it's nothing like yours. It's got like a flower on it and it's pink. Yours has flames. Okay, it sort of looks like flames. It's a Daisy. Ah, where are your clothes? You definitely need to wear clothes to gymnastics class. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, Brookie, is warm up. Because if you don't warm up, you could get injured. And even worse. What's worse than getting injured, Molly? Your brain might melt. Molly, that's not even true. <laughs> uh, I like to stretch before I have an amazing gymnastics workout. Then I do some handstands. You know, stuff like that. Okay, well, I think we're pretty warmed up. I feel warmed up. I feel like I can do anything. All right, well, let's see what you can do. Uh, let's go over here and see if you can walk on this. Because if you can, if you don't lose your balance and fall, you're already, like, doing pretty good at gymnastics. Just like that, Brookie. Okay, you try. Okay, Molly. Um, how'd I do? Awesome! Now you could try to do something on it. Like, um, maybe you do want to do a handspring? It's kind of like a, a somersault in the air. See? Like that. Okay, um, let me try now. Um, well, that was a good try. How about a cartwheel? Molly, gymnastics is harder than I thought it would be. Aww. Don't worry, Brookie. You're going to get this. I know you will. Whoa, good job! Brookie, you're doing so awesome. It makes me want to spin around. Oh, Molly, are you going to sing this entire gymnastics class? Probably. I love to sing. <laughs> well, well, well. Who do we have here? Um, Molly and Brookie, we go to school with you, so I'm pretty sure you know who we are. Yeah, but I was talking more about these losers in my gymnastics class. Hey, we're not losers, are we, Brookie? Um, actually, on the contrary, I've been doing amazing. I'm a beginner, but I'm doing awesome. I don't think so. You probably look like a total noob. No, she doesn't. She's doing great, so don't talk to her that way, okay? If you're going to be a bully, just, you know, go over there, okay? I don't think so. I work out here. Um, well, we're on this bar right now. I don't care. This is where I work out. Oh, we can just go somewhere else. No, we can't go somewhere else. We have to, we have to go here. Because this is where we decided to work out. She probably can't even do gymnastics anyway. So why is she taking up all this space in the gymnastics practice room? I can do gymnastics. I, I totally can. You don't have anything to prove to Sarah. She's just being a bully. Don't listen to her. No, I'm, I'm good at gymnastics. I mean, at least I'm sort of getting good at it. You probably can't even do a middle split leap. Um, Ricky, don't try a middle split leap. That's, that's... That's not for a beginner. I can do it, Molly. I can do it. Um, okay. But be careful. No pressure, Brookie. Um, but everyone from class is kind of watching you right now. Oh, um, all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be great at this, right? You don't have to do this, Brookie. You don't have to prove anything to Sarah. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm going to be great at gymnastics. You just wait and see. 
Wow, Brookie, you're doing awesome. She's all right, I guess. What are you talking about? Look at her. She just started gymnastics today and she's doing amazing. You don't have to do any of the harder moves though, Brookie. I want to, Molly. I'm doing amazing and this will show Sarah. Okay, honey, everything's gonna be okay. I promise, they're going to fix your leg perfectly here. Um, my friend is in so much pain. We need to get her on the stretcher and get her into the hospital right away. Don't worry, I'm on it. Crookie, Crookie, are you okay? Do I look okay? Oh, my leg. Brookie, you shouldn't have listened to Sarah. She's just a troublemaker and you were doing so good. But you can't do gymnastics moves before you're ready. I just thought I could do that because I'm so athletic and oh, my leg. Well, even the most, the most athletic person still has to learn what they're doing before they do it. Um, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Smith. I'll be taking care of Brookie Cookie this morning. Oh my gosh, doctor, help her, help her. Oh, the pain, it hurts so much. Okay, Brookie, everything's going to be fine. I need to get you in for an x-ray. So tell me what happened. Um, we were in gymnastics class. It was Brookie's first day. This bully tried to pressure her into doing moves she wasn't ready to do. And well, she gave in to the pressure because she didn't want to look like a total noob. And then she fell off the bar and I guess hurt her leg or whatever. Oh my, that sounds serious. Okay, well, let's get her into x-ray. Okay, dear, I need you to lay down, please, and this won't hurt a bit. Are you sure? I've never had an x-ray before. Everything's going to be just fine. Now let's see what's going on with that leg. Is it broken, doctor? Is it broken? Oh, I'm, I'm afraid it is. You're going to need surgery. What? Surgery? No! You don't understand. I don't want surgery. I can't go back to gymnastics then for months and months. Well, I'm very sorry, but it's what's needed for fixing your leg. You should be able to go back to gymnastics about two or three months. Two or three months? Are you kidding me? I don't want surgery. <laughs> Brookie, I know you don't, but this is what you need to do to fix your leg. And Daisy and I will be here as soon as you wake up. Okay, good luck everyone. Why are you telling us good luck? Don't you need the good luck? You're the one doing the surgery. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm just a little nervous. Wait, what? Why are you nervous? Oh, this is the first leg surgery I've done. Say what? <laughs> Don't worry, I went to medical school. Uh, that sounds a little crazy. Okay, Brookie, I'm gonna give you a shot and it's gonna make you very sleepy. Then you're gonna take a night-night and we're gonna fix that leg. Ready? I guess. <laughs> now I need you to count down from 100. Do you have an ax? Oh, no, 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 that's not an ax. You're just dreaming that. Am I asleep already? I wonder when Brookie's gonna get back. I'm so worried about her. I'm sure Dr. Smith knows what she's doing, Molly. Brookie, you're back! Are you okay? Ugh, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I think that's just the anesthesia. Once it wears off, you should feel a lot better. Do you want some ice cream? Not yet, Molly, but maybe later. I think I just wanna go back to sleep. Okay, well, me and Daisy will come back and check on you soon, okay? Okay, how about like in an hour or two? All right, Brookie, I'm glad you're okay. Me too, Molly, me too. <laughs> Bye, Daisy. I'm gonna go see Brookie. Wait, Molly, I'll come too. She didn't invite you. But she didn't necessarily invite you evil, did she? Well, that doesn't matter. I'm her best friend. <laughs> Molly, you're taking a bike there? She literally lives like one second away. Yeah, but we might ride bikes, so I'm gonna take my bike and see if she wants to ride bikes. Knock, knock. <coughs> Brookie, are you home? Brookie. Okay, I'm just gonna let myself in. Brookie. Oh, hey, Molly. What are you doing here? I just came over to see if you want to hang out or something. It's really nice outside. It's like the first day of spring and oh, my sister had to come along. Well, Daisy can come along too. She's my friend. Yeah, Molly, we're both her friend, Jeepers. Guys, you don't have to fight over my friendship. I can be friends with both of you. 
Yes, but you can only have one BFF, and that's me. No, it's me. Me, Daisy. I'm her BFF. Guys, you're both my BFF. Really? I thought I was your BFF. Molly, you guys are both my friends. I Please, stop fighting over whose friendship is more important to me. It's making me really stressed out. Oh, sorry, Brookie. Well, anyway, we didn't want to start off on, on having like a bad day like this. We actually just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out with us. I'd love to hang out with you guys if you can behave. Well, <laughs> no promises there. You want to ride bikes? Uh, yeah, I could bring my skateboard or something. All right, well, we'll meet you outside. I already have my bike out. What's taking Brookie so long? Maybe she had to go potty or something. Brookie, what what happened? Sorry, <laughs> I had a bean burrito and I'm, uh -huh. excuse me, a little bit gassy. Ew! Well, sorry, I had to go potty, but I'm ready now. All right, how about we race from here all the way down to the end of the street? Ooh, sounds fun. Let's do this. All right, everybody come to the fire hydrant because that's where we're gonna start. And Brookie, are you ready? Uh-huh, ready. On your mark. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I'm totally winning. Yeah! <laughs> what happened? Daisy, is that you crying? No, Molly. It's, it's Brookie. Brookie! Oh my God, Brookie! Are, are you okay? Brookie, say something. Oh. Oh, I didn't want you to say that, but if that's really how you feel, I guess say it. Molly, quit telling her what to do. She's hood. Are you guys really going to argue right now? Because obviously my leg is like broken or something. Oh my God, Brookie, what happened? She fell off a skateboard. Oh no. What are those losers doing? What? What's wrong with you? She fell off her skateboard. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at her right now, Sarah? <laughs> I bet that looked hilarious. Quit laughing at her. You need to go to the hospital, Brookie. No, I don't. Everyone will laugh at me because I'm bad at my skateboarding. No, no, they won't. You got hurt. It, you have to go to the hospital. I think your leg might be broken. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the hospital because you're terrible with skateboarding. All right, Sarah, go away. You are not helpful at all. Brookie, I'm calling 911. I, no, I can get up. No, you can't. I can tell already. Look at the way your leg is curved. It's broken. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, my friend on Parkland Drive, that's that's where we live. She fell off her skateboard and 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 she she can't move her leg. She can't stand up at all. She's crying a lot. Okay, we'll send an ambulance right away. Just stay on the line with us. Well, at least Sarah left. Yeah, what a bully. Oh, my leg. Oh, what if everyone thinks that, that I'm a loser? No one's going to think that, Brookie. Oh, I've got a bad signal right now. Can you hear me? What's your address? I'm sorry, I have a bad signal. Just come to Parkland Drive. Number 11. Brookie, the ambulance is on their way. Just hold on, okay? Me and Daisy are here. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being my best friends. No problem, Brookie. Just hang on. Try to take deep breaths. Here comes the ambulance. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. She's over here. She's over here. Hi there. Oh, my goodness. What's your friend's name? Brookie. Hi, Brookie. I'm a paramedic, and I'm here to help you um, get to the hospital, okay? Oh, yeah. It does look like your leg might be broken. All right. I'm going to get you onto the stretcher, sweetie, and then we're going to take you to the hospital so they can get you all fixed up. Just hang tight. Oh, my leg. It hurts so bad. I'm going to ride along with her. Is that okay? Well, you're not her parent. Well, her parents aren't home right now. It's just me. Well, what relation are you to her? Her best friend. Well, one of them. Okay, that's fine. I don't want her to be alone back there anyway. All right, everybody hold tight. We're on our way to the um hospital. I'll follow you guys on my hoverboard. Okay, Daisy, we'll see you there. Brookie, are you okay? No, I'm scared. I don't want to go to the hospital. They know how to help you there, Brookie. It's going to be okay. I don't want to have an IV. I've never had an IV before. I know, but trust me. The doctors are your friends, okay? Not your enemies. They're there to help you. What's this lady doing? I'm sorry, but um, I really need a coffee. What? Get us to the hospital, you crazy lunatic. What can I get for you today? Yes, I'd like one coffee, please. And make it fast. I have someone in the back. Oh, this ambulance driver's terrible. Okay, you can pull around. Oh my gosh. I'm never getting to the hospital. Oh, my leg's gonna be broken forever. 
No, that's not true, Brookie. Look, we're moving again. She got her stinky old coffee. Oh, this lady is something else. Okay, Brookie, we're just gonna take an x-ray of your leg. Everything will be fine. Is this gonna hurt? No, x-rays don't hurt, honey. But that leg does, so let's get it feeling better, okay? Okay, doctor. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, it looks like you got a bonk on your head, a bonk on your arm, and a small fracture in your, um, your left leg. No, does this mean I need surgery? No, honey, no, 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 no. It doesn't look like anything's out of place. We'll just put a cast on it and you can spend the night in the hospital for observation and go home tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness, do I have to have an IV? No, you don't have to have an IV. Oh my gosh, I hope my friend doesn't have to have surgery on her leg. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Poor Brookie, poor Brookie. Okay, I need to sit down. I'm just like freaking out right now and I need to stay calm for my friend. But what's taking so long in the x-ray room? Brookie! Brookie, are you okay? Well, I'm I'm gonna be okay. Do you need surgery? An IV? Do you have to stay here? Um, well, yes, I have to stay here. No, I don't need surgery. And no, I don't have to not have an IV. Hooray! That's great news! So, so, are you okay? Well, I have a bonk on my head, I have a bonk on my arm, and I have a fracture in my leg. But you don't have to have surgery? No, I just have to have a cast, which is gonna stink. That means I can't even go out for soccer tryouts. It's gonna be okay, Brookie. I'm just glad you didn't get more hurt. And I'm sorry you did get hurt the way you did. What's going on? Brookie, are you gonna die? Daisy, no, she's not gonna die. You gonna need surgery? No, I just am gonna have to have a cast. Oh no, what about soccer tryouts? Yeah, you might not wanna bring that up because she's feeling kinda sad about it. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm glad everything is gonna be okay for you, Brookie. Yeah, me too. It was really scary, and I can't believe that Sarah laughed at me. That makes me angry. She should have detention for the rest of her life for that. She should get a lump of coal for Christmas. She, she should have to clean up dog doo-doo in the backyard for the next seven years. Oh, Molly, you are angry. Maybe you need to go um, run around the block. Let out some of that angry energy. Yeah, Molly, she's not worth your time. Don't even get angry. Well, I can't help it. She's rude. She's a bully. She's annoying. Yeah, she's definitely all those things. But I'm okay. Well, I'm glad about that, Brookie. Me too, Molly. Well, you guys want to hang out with me and play some Roblox? I'm going to be stuck here for the night. Sounds good to me. Me too. But first, let's go get some snacks from the hospital um, cafeteria. Mmm, snacks. Well, that's one good thing about being in the hospital. Oh, Molly, you always think about your stomach. Oh, man, I'm starving. What's that smell? Oh, Molly, Granny made some cookies. What? Granny made some cookies? I'm going to eat all of them. Molly, you can't eat all of the cookies. I might. <laughs> I just might. You better save me one or two, Molly. I'll think about it, Daisy. But, um, nah, I thought about it. You can't have any. Molly! All right, fine. I might save you one bite. One crumb. <laughs> Whoa. Granny's house looks kind of different. Oh, yeah. She's probably just having some remodeling done or something. Yeah, let's check and see if the kitchen is in the same spot. Ooh, it is. Mmm, Granny's cookies are the absolute best. Yeah, I have to agree. Just don't eat them all. It might make Granny kind of annoyed, Molly. Oh, I don't know about that, ah, Granny! Give me those cookies! You don't get to eat the cookies! Huh? Daisy, that's not our Granny! She's crazy! Run! Hide! Molly, don't let her catch you! There, there now. Stop crying. Seriously, stop crying. <laughs> Molly, Daisy, help me. Uh, Daisy, how did we end up in daycare? I thought we were at that crazy granny's house. We were, but but somehow we're here and we're smaller. And also, these clothes are too small for me. Yeah, your gut's hanging out. <laughs> Looks like you've been eating one too many donuts. Molly, rude! We have to try to figure out why all of a sudden we're toddlers again and how we got to this daycare. Oh, it's gotta be some sort of grumpy granny trap. Wow! 
Ah, I see you found my daycare. <laughs> this is for the naughty kids who steal the cookies. Wait, what? You're sending us to this daycare? Yes, it's for naughty children who steal my special chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, Molly, look, she's captured a lot of kids. Don't even try to have fun. You never will. <laughs> what? But there's toys here. Something must be fun to do. They're loaded with germs like chicken pox, the stomach flu, and, well, Snowvid. What? You, you put germs on other toys and we're going to play with them? Oh, no. You can play with them if you want the stomach bug and have to go poo-poo every five seconds. Ah! This is terrible! I'm running away! Oh, you're too little to run away. <laughs> There's no transportation home. I have to go to the bathroom, Molly. Maybe I got that stomach bug. No, 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 Daisy. You just probably have to go potty. You're a toddler, so you're still working on, on your potty training. Molly, I mastered potty training like five years ago. I know, but Daisy, here you're a toddler, so... <laughs> Hi, I watch your videos on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Um, Wait, what's your name? Shout out to Jan Jan. Um, Jan Jan, do you know how to get out of here? No, I've been stuck here for a year. A year? Are, are you serious right now? I'm a fan, and this is the most exciting, happy thing that's happened to me in over a year. What, she's been stuck here with you? Oh my gosh, we're done for. I want my mommy. Mommy, don't crack this soon. We, we have to hold it together. I don't want to hold it together. <laughs> oh man, you guys are never going to last here. I don't take care of the little babies, you know. They have a really rough time with this. Yeah, I'm having a rough time with it and I'm a toddler. <laughs> Molly, I have to go potty. Me too. Let's go find the potties. Oh, I see you're having the best day ever in Granny's daycare. Be quiet, Granny. <laughs> you say that to me again, I'll put you in jail. Baby jail. Daisy, the potties are in here. Oh, man, I gotta go poo-poo so bad. Oh, my gosh, I have to go poo-poo so bad. Uh, excuse me. Can someone close the door? Jeepers, no privacy here at this granny daycare. Okay, kid. Stop moving around so much. Oh, my gosh. How did you get the job here? Um, granny pays very well, and she doesn't pay me to talk to you. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. Rude. Well, well, well. It's time for your sulfur bath. Sulfur? What's sulfur? Molly... Did you pay attention in science class? Sulfur makes you stink like rotten eggs. What? Ew, gross. Get me out of here. Not a chance. <laughs> I bet you'll never steal my cookies again. Ooh, you smell horrible. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Your turn, little one. No, please. Anything but the... Anything but the Latin eggs. No, I don't want a sulfur bath. Ew, gross. Ew, you smell horrible, Daisy. Thanks, I hadn't noticed. Okay, you little brats. It's time for a nap. I don't want a nap. I don't want a nap. Which is exactly why you need one. Take a nap. Oh, okay, fine. At least we'll be rid of her, Daisy. Now, do not get out of these beds! Okay, we won't. Daisy, Molly, we're not supposed to get out of our beds. I have a plan. It's going to work. I don't know, Molly. This seems like a bad idea. Okay, listen. If I use some prank slime... Where are you going to get that from? I saw some, okay? If I get some prank slime... I dump it on Granny's head. Then we might have enough time to run out of this crazy daycare. You think so, Molly? You think this could really work? Yeah, and I'm going to steal those cookies from the kitchen. Ooh, that's brave, Molly. Real brave. Okay, so I'm going to get the slime. You distract Granny. 
How, Marty? Tell her you have a stomach ache or something. Come on. I gotta go home! I don't like this! <laughs> Whoa, she's totally having a meltdown. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Slime Grandma. 50 Robux! It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be worth it. Watch this. those cookies. I'm gonna get the cookies from the cookie jar. I'm running with the cookies in the cookie jar. Marty, this way, come on! See you later, grumpy granny! We've escaped you after all. I have another idea, Marty. Run! I'm running as fast as I can. I have short legs. I'm a toddler. We could take one of these horses. Um, you could take the unicorn or something. Oh, good idea. Alright, um, come here. <laughs> Nice horse, nice horse. Ah, don't step on me. I have a cookie. Want a cookie? Horse, 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 horse. Okay, this one like poops rainbows. I think he could be my friend. Come on, seriously, I need a ride out of here. All right, little Pegasus. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? Stop walking in a circle. Mommy, I think they only know to go inside the barnyard. Well, this little Pegasus has got to learn its lesson. Oh, you kids slammed me, you little brat. All right, let's fly! Mm, this is delicious. Mm. I mean, I kind of wish I had some dessert, but you know, as far as sandwiches go, this one's pretty good. Molly, Molly, what you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Hey, why are you sitting in baby Kira's high chair? I accidentally tripped. You tripped and fell into the high chair. Well, I'm a little clumsy. I just got new contacts. Ooh, don't you want to wear glasses? You'd be so cool. No, I want to wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses. Molly, do you want to come outside and play with me? Uh, no, not right now, TZ. I just want to, like, hang out. But we could play soccer. It would be so much fun. No, I want to eat my sandwich, chill, and watch some TV, okay? <laughs> but you have fun playing soccer. I can't play soccer by myself. Uh, I guess I'll just swing on the swings then. Uh -huh, okay, well, have fun. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, boy. I could take a nap like this. Oh, 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 oh. Daisy, what, what is it? Why are you crying? I, I, I. <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? What happened? Was there a bully at the park? No, Molly, I, I, I got poked in the eye. Hey, guys, you guys want to hang out? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, my sister got poked in the eye. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. Can you see out of it? It's, 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 well, it's blowy. Daisy, just blink your eyes and, and, and maybe it'll get better. No, oh, Molly, everything is still really blowy. Something is not right with my eye. I need to go to the hospital. Well, Daisy, uh, Mom has the car. I can't drive you there. Call 911 then. Okay, I'll call 911. Um, uh, call emergency services. Here we go. Why is my phone broken? Are you serious right now? Well, why aren't they coming? I don't know. They're not answering. Ugh, this phone is broken. Maybe it's not your phone, Molly. Maybe it's the hospital. I don't know, but the ambulance is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with the ambulance, but, but we did a paramedic. Don't be scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, sorry, but we can't hang out right now because my sister got poked in the eye and she might be going blind. Okay, Daisy, come on. I'm gonna lead you to the hospital. We'll have to walk. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a walk, but you can do it, okay? You didn't break your leg, did you? No, I just I couldn't see where I was going because these new contacts and and and, and 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 I got well poked in the eye with a stick. Oh, Daisy. Oh no. Come on, well follow me. Come on, you can hold my hand and, and we'll walk to the hospital together. No, wrong door, Daisy. That goes into the bathroom. But I can't see anything, Molly. Well, I don't think the toilet's going to help you. Unless you know you have the poo-poos. Then you should probably go there. Molly, this is not the time to joke. I can't see. Okay, Daisy, don't panic. Come on, let's go. Okay, Daisy, we're at Maple Hospital. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, look at those little babies. Wait, are, they're supposed to be at the vet, not here. Molly, stay focused. Hi, what can I do for you today? Are you sick? Uh, no, but my sister got poked in the eye with a stick and she can't see really good out of it. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, well, we'll get her admitted into the ER and have a doctor in right away. And also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Are you a subscriber? Molly, not the time to talk about this. Look at my eye. It's swelling shut. Oh, no. Okay, well, can you get us in right now? Of course. Anything for Molly and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. I'm bleeding over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, you got a lot of patience today. We sure do. Okay, head on over to the ER room, please. I'm about to have my baby, and it's making me very grumpy because I was on my way to get an Italian sub, and now I don't even get my sandwich. Whoa. Somebody get her a sub. Stat, watch where you're going with that stretcher. You almost ran me over. Okay, um... Here, I'll grab the wheelchair. You sit in it, okay, Daisy? Um, I don't want to disturb you because I know your sister is sick, so I just made this sign. And could you read it, please? Are you recording? Oh, my goodness. Daisy, we're famous even when we come to the hospital. Well, our fans do love us, but I'm so I, I can't. I can't look at that right now. I can't look at anything. All right, Daisy, we're going into the emergency room. Everything's going to be fine now, okay? I hope so, Molly. I want to be able to see again. I know you do. Okay, here. Um, just get up onto this bed. Ugh. When will the doctor be here? Any minute, I'm sure of it. Excuse me, I need this room. I, I'm gonna have a baby. Hello, I'm the doctor. What seems to be the problem today? Um, here. I'm gonna talk to the doctor. She got poked in the eye. Okay, why don't you move on out of here? You are okay. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Just get that lady's. Yeah, gonna ha uh, she gonna have a baby? Does it? Does it mean that um she gets the bed? You're fine. You're not even sick. Scram! Ah, this doctor's crazy! Holy guacamole! Okay, Daisy, let's go into this other room. Obviously, what? I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he might be an imposter right now. Okay, apparently this doctor is not crazy anymore, and he's gonna help my sister. I I'm having trouble breathing. I'm so nervous. Okay, well, we're gonna put this oxygen mask on you and tell me, can you see this? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Okay, you're probably gonna need a shot. What? A shot? Oh boy, Daisy hates shots. Oh my gosh, I don't want a shot. It'll help, don't you worry. Yeah, let's get an IV started here. An IV for her eyeball? Ah, uh, guys, could you stop stepping on my sister? <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna give her a concussion. Oh my gosh. I got here as quickly as I could. I got your bubba. Yeah, I got your bubba. Oh my gosh, what happened, Molly? Um, well, Daisy went over to the park and her new contacts made her eyeballs not work quite right. They were a little blurry. And well, she ran into a stick on a tree and poked herself in the eye. Oh my gosh, my sweet girl. <sighs> um, I think this girl needs to have a doctor because she's laying on the ground and... Okay, are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I just have my back seize up on me. Ugh, it's the worst. I can tell. Oh, my gosh. Maybe they have a shot for that or something. Oh, poor little girl. Hey, why don't you go over to the gift shop and get something for Daisy to make her feel a little better? Here's some money and, um, you know, get her anything that she loves, okay? Okay, Mom. No problem. Wait, where's the gift shop? Oh, boy, the last time I was here was when I had baby Kira... The gift shop was in the basement at that time, but that was over a year ago. No problem, to the basement. Finally, I found the elevator. That seemed to take me forever. La, 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 la. Whoa, well, this doesn't quite look like the, the gift shop, but maybe it's closed? I don't know, I better look around and see. Holy guacamole, it's kind of creepy in here. What's that, a science lab or something? La, 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 la. Brr, it's freezing in here. Wait a minute. Where am I? Use the hospital bed to place a body into the freezer? Oh, I didn't find the gift shop. I found the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it's okay. I can just get out of here, right? Yeah, the door opens. Wait a minute. Why is it opening and closing? Is it, is it gonna lock behind me? Ah! Am I locked in here? Oh, my gosh! <sighs> what was that? My stomach must be growling. I haven't eaten food in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Brains. Ah! Oh my god! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie! Ah, I hope the door opens. Oh, it looks locked! OK, 
okay, I know what to do. I just gotta put them back in the freezer, right? Get on this bed, zombie. Get on it! <sighs> okay, this freezer looks empty, right? Okay, in you go. Give me your brains. Oh, M, G, guys. I put that zombie in the freezer, and now I need to get this door open. Um, and get out of here. Okay, the gift shop is no longer down in the basement, and it seems like they're testing on zombies down here. So, um, yeah, let's try a different floor. Um, well, um, uh, the, the second floor, maybe. Uh, gift shop should be there, right? Can't be any worse than what I just witnessed. I can't believe there's zombies in the hospital. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. Wait, this is the gift shop, right? I mean, there's toys in there and... Oh yeah, maple gift shop. Okay. Now I have to pick out something that I think Daisy would actually like. Oh, look at that teddy bear. I bet she would really like that. She'd be able to snuggle in and... Yeah, she'll love this. Slow down, Speedy Gonzales. Sorry! I've got to go see my sister. She's got a, 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 a her eye. Oh, wait. There she is. Okay, why is there somebody with a dumbbell on top of my sister? You should be in daycare! <laughs> I'm so naughty! Molly, is that you? I can barely see you. Oh, sorry. Here, I, I brought you something that you're really going to love. Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Are you frowning, Molly? I can sort of see you a little now. The doctor's been giving me some some medicine for my eye. Yeah, it's a teddy bear, and yeah, I'm frowning, and yeah, it's because I saw something crazy, and 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 and, and it scarred me for life. Oh boy, Molly, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, Daisy. I'm really not sure. It was crazy. Where's Ma? Oh, she went to get some coffee. <laughs> Okay, baby Kira, uh, Mom will be back with a bottle in a minute. I'm sure of it. Here, you can have this teddy bear. What? That's supposed to be my teddy bear. I'm sorry, but I think baby Kira might need it. She feels really sad. I'm back. Mom, baby Kira needs a bottle. Oh, man. Did you, wait, did you find the gift shop? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, it was quite the adventure. Could you please go up to the maternity ward and get your sister a bottle? Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost this time. And make it quick, Molly. Well, I know that the basement isn't the, where the maternity ward is. I guess I'll go up to the third floor. Oh, it says ultrasound. I always wanted to go in one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, that's where they see the babies. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over to this section. See if we can find a bottle around here. Ooh, this is like, this is pediatric care. I bet there's one in here. <coughs> Is there any nurse here? Because that baby is crying. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this baby up because I don't want it to cry. And the nurses seem really busy. rock a bye, baby in the treetops. Gosh, is that a second baby crying? rock a bye, babies in the treetops. Okay, well, I've got to go down and give my sister that bottle. Um, I guess you guys can come with me, because, um, yeah. Uh, baby Kira gets very grumpy if she doesn't have her baby bottle. Molly, what are you doing with those babies? Well, they kept crying, and I was going to bring baby Kira her baby bottle, and, well, I didn't want to leave them there, and a nurse wasn't there. Molly, you can't just walk out of the maternity ward with babies. But they needed someone to love them. <coughs> See? See what I mean? Oh my gosh, Molly. Take those babies right back right now before we get arrested. Well, it's not like I stole them or something. I just, well, I, I, oh boy. I can see this is going to be a very bad day. You're having a bad day. Try being me. Oh boy. Okay, well, here's the baby bottle. I get that one, I get that one, I get that one. I know, you love baby bottles. Mm, it's pretty good. Molly, don't drink baby Kira's baby bottle. Has anyone seen the missing babies? Uh-oh. That doctor's looking for these babies. I didn't mean to take them. I just tried to soothe them. I was going to bring them back. All right, we need to um sound the alarm. There's children missing. There's children missing from the maternity ward. Well, let's try to get these guys back here before anybody notices, well, that um they're gone. Too late. Everybody notices they're already gone. Maybe they just crawled away on their own. Yeah, just stick you guys down here, right here, like this. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, 
The nurse is going to find you in about two minutes. And I'm just going to sneak out of here so I don't get in trouble for um, trying to soothe the babies. And, um, oh, it's just a disaster. Oh my gosh, I got to run. I don't want them to see it was me. Truly, I don't steal babies. All right, I got to go back down and see my sister now. Oh, wait, I didn't take this elevator before. Okay, there's the emergency room. This hospital is so huge. I can't even find where I am sometimes. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, did you take those babies back? Of course I did, Mom, of course I did. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's doing like gymnastics and dancing on Daisy. And they're also doing CPR. Um, you guys are not real doctors. She has an eye infection. Oh my goodness. I feel better, can we go home? Oh man, someone has diarrhea. We need to get out of here before we all catch the stomach bug. Daisy, are you seeing any better? Yep, I'm completely cured. Let's go home. Well, here's all the ambulances. They could have been more helpful earlier today. Would you please watch out? You've run into me about five times. Oh my gosh, that old lady is like so mad. Oh no, there's somebody else having a baby. Whoa, I wonder if that's the ambulance that I tried calling. Now I know what happened. Daisy, you're wearing glasses? Yep, after that crazy time I had at the hospital, the contacts aren't worth it. Yeah, <laughs> you think you had a crazy time. Wait till I tell you what I saw in the basement. What, was it haunted? No, worse. <laughs> I wonder who my sister Daisy is. I want to bug her. <laughs> Let's the sisters do best. Hey, Mom. Hey, Molly. I'm just about to make some delicious snacks. Woo! Snacks! My favorite! My favorite, too. That's why I'm sitting at the table, because I'm waiting. Dad, are you seriously singing about the snacks? Yes, I love snacks. <laughs> dad, sometimes I wonder how you're even my dad. What do you mean? I mean, because sometimes you're really weird and I'm not that weird. Oh, I think you are, Molly. I think you are. I think you take right after me, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you certainly don't take after me because I was never as naughty as you are as a kid. Me? Naughty? Never. Okay, time to go bug Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, boy, Daisy, fee, five, full, fee, me, mom, amazy, Daisy. Molly, I am trying to do my summer weeding program. Leave me alone, please. Nah, that sounds boring to leave you along, alone, and I'm kind of bored anyway. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, how dare you jump on the couch? That is so naughty. Mom's going to say you're grounded. No, she won't. She can't even see me. She's making a snack. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, stop it! You're bouncing up and down, and I can't read the words of my book. And I have to finish this today because I want to win the summer reading program. Okay, fine. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Molly, seriously? You're playing Christmas songs, and it's the summer, and you're doing it just to annoy me. Me? Nah. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Daisy, are you still listening? I was putting on a concert for you. Daisy, knock knock. Daisy. Molly, go away. What? I can't hear you. Molly, go away. Daisy, I'm opening your door. I can't hear you. Molly, I'm reading. Go away. No, I'm bored, Daisy. I, I want you to I want you to play. No, Molly, I'm doing my summer reading program. Okay, I'm just going to jump on your desk then. This is Molly. I'm telling Mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're being so naughty. You wouldn't tell on me. You wouldn't dare. I do dare. Girls, what's all this arguing about in here? Your mother and I can hear it all the way in the kitchen. Ha, <laughs> ha, nothing, Dad. We're just playing. Yeah, right, Molly. No, but not. Yeah, we are. See, I'm playing with Oscar the octopus. He's so adorable, isn't he, Dad? Yeah, he's super cute. Are you sure everything's okay? No, Dad, it's not. Molly keeps bugging me. Molly, is that true? Are you bothering your sister? No. Do I look like I'm bothering her? She's just trying to be a tattletale. Okay, girls. Well, I better not hear any more arguing in here, okay? 
Daisy, you go back to doing your summer reading if that's what you want to do, and Molly, you leave your sister alone. Okay, Dad, I'm just going to play with Oscar the Octopus. I I'll be good. Molly, now you should get out of my room. Not a chance, Daisy. Not a chance. Molly, give me my toy and get out. Dad said no yelling, Daisy, or we're both going to get grounded. That's not fair, though. You've been the annoying one. Daisy, you didn't even make your bed today. You're lazy. Molly! I was too busy doing my summer reading program. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Free, Fry, Fo, Fazy, Me, Mom, Amazing. Daisy! Girls, you having fun? Yeah, Mom, we're having so much fun. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. I'll have one, I think. Molly, don't take the one I was taking. Molly! Ah, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, tacos are delicious. Mom, Molly ate the last taco even though I was going to eat it. And now she's eating all the cookies. Molly, let your sister have some cookies, okay? And why did you eat the last taco without asking if your sister wanted half? I don't know, I just figured it was for me because, you know, had my name on it. Pretty sure that that taco did not say Molly. No, it totally did. <laughs> Daisy, stop eating all the cookies! Rah! Girls, stop fighting, please. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. Molly, I have to do my summer reading program. Please leave me alone, okay? Okay, Daisy, no, no, no promises, but okay. Molly, why don't you find something else to do? Like eat more cookies? Sounds like a great idea to me, Mom. I mean, like, stay out of trouble. Trouble. Trouble's my middle name, Mom. Well, it's going to be grounded. What do you mean, Molly grounded? That's going to be your middle name, yes, because you're going to be grounded if you can't behave. Yeah, Molly, I think you're really bothering your sister. That's not very nice. Okay, okay, I'll be nice. Hey guys, um, do you want to play? Um, I don't, I don't know if we can right now, Brianna. Um, my sister's busy reading her book. You could go play, Molly, and leave me alone. No, that wouldn't be very nice, Daisy. I want to keep you company. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fa, Fo, Fazy, Molly, you are too close right now. Go away. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fa, Fo, Fazy, Me, Mom, Amazing, Daisy. Hey, I'll play chase with you guys, too. Okay, Brianna, that sounds cool. Molly, I'm not playing chase. I'm trying to read my book. Get out! Ugh, I think I got locked out of the house. Bang, 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 bang. Um, can I come in, please? Fine, Molly, but stop being annoying. Okay, okay. Oh, where, oh, where is my sister? She's not in the hot tub. That's where I'd be if I was reading a book. She's hiding on me! Can you believe this right now? Oh, hide and seek! She's tricksy like that. Oh, she's in the closet. I just know it. Daisy! Nope, she's not in here. Where's she hiding at? Molly, are you still bugging your sister? No, we're playing hide and seek! Are you sure your sister knows you're playing hide and seek? Yeah. Molly, could you go out and put the um Would you go out and put the bills in the uh in the in the Mom, quit watching TV and tell me what you want to say. Oh, um put the the bills that I put on the counter in the mailbox. Yeah. Maybe it'll keep you busy and you'll stop annoying your sister. Nah, probably not, Mom. Daisy Daisy Bo Daisy V Five for Faisy Me Mom Amazing. D -d 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 Daisy. Okay, I paid. I paid the bills. Now I have to go find my sister. I don't know where she went. Maybe she's hiding around back. Oh, Daisy, where are you? Well, I'm up in a tree. Okay, I've got to find my sister because I can't keep annoying her if, basically, I can't find her. Wait a minute! There she is. She's eating cookies and reading her book. Oh, Daisy! That's it, Molly. You're really getting on my nerves. I'm telling on you again. Oh, Daisy, don't tell me. Daisy! 
Mom, Molly keeps bugging me and I, I really want to read my book so I can win first place. I'm trying to do my summer reading program and Molly just keeps bugging me. Molly, is this true? I told you to stop bugging your sister and your dad told you too. Me bugging her? No, I was just singing songs and loudly and then you were jumping on my desk and chasing me. Molly, I asked you to leave me alone and you didn't. Well, Molly, I have no choice but to ground you for an hour. What? No, this is horrible. I don't want to be grounded. <laughs> oh, Molly, I feel kind of bad now. I didn't mean to tell on you. I was just trying to play, Daisy, and you didn't want to. Well, Molly, I think you should go to your room for an hour. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Go away, Daisy! <laughs> Molly, can I come in? No! Okay, Molly, I'm coming in anyway. Molly? What do you want? You got me in trouble! I'm sorry, Molly. You were really annoying me. Yeah, well, now I'm grounded thanks to you. I was just trying to be goofy and silly. But sometimes it's just annoying when someone asks you to stop bugging them and you keep doing it. But I don't want you to get grounded, so I'm going to ask Mom if you can get out of jail. Jail? What do you mean, jail? I mean, you'll, you'll win grounded jail. <laughs> I'll ask her and tell her that I forgive you. Could you please get out of jail now? Fine, but it's not going to work. She'll probably say no. Still say yes, Molly. Still say yes. I'm going to be grounded forever. <laughs> Molly, oh, are you crying because you got grounded? Well, I'm not crying because I get an ice cream. Okay. That's enough with that attitude, Missy. Well, Mom, I'm just feeling sad because I don't want to be grounded right now. <sighs> Molly, I think you should just be nicer to your sister. Can you promise to be nicer to your sister? Yeah, I promise. And you won't annoy her when she says stop? No, I won't. Okay, then you can be done with grounding. However, if I catch you doing it again after you promise me, you'll be grounded for two hours. Whoa, serious business, Mom! Daisy, Daisy, Bo Daisy! Molly! I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding! Daisy, do you want to go swimming in the pool? So, Molly, let's go. Yay! Finally, my sister wants to play. But now it's like getting dark out already. Ay, ay, ay. Whee! Ah, oh, we're going for a midnight swim. Ah, oh, that feels good. Molly, it's not midnight. It's only 8.45. 8.46, Daisy. Whoa, someone just sent me $100! Thank you so much! That was nice of you. You guys don't have to send me money in Blacksburg, but I'm glad when you do, because it's super cool. Thank you. Whee! Ugh. Sitting at the bottom of the pool. Hey, Toyo fans. Um, so I kind of got grounded today for annoying my sister, but then I got ungrounded because she felt bad for me. <laughs> hey, Toyo fans. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. We put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. I'm going to pretend I'm a ghost. My mom will be so freaked out. Boo. Boo. Uh, Molly, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Brianna. I'm just pretending I'm a ghost to scare my mom. Boo. What is that? Oh, it sounds like a ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs>
Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now. But, I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry. We're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right, <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to... Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But, Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I have pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly. What are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm. This mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. 
Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm gonna eat yours too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mm. Mm, delicious. That Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye! <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream, so I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, wh where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well, be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry. I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I... I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Molly, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. <laughs> Uh-huh, yep, I'm gonna adopt a kid, I know, right? <laughs> adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh my gosh, what's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute, your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry, seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me. Can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow, you sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Mm. Kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Um, sorry, I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. 
I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to adopt me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and... <sighs> I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family! You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. When do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh! I, I, I never got adopted, and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news! How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but... I don't even have a penny to my name. I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Hmm. An old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not gonna eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm I'm homeless and I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live, and this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh wow, I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout, and I put twenty dollars in there for you too. Seriously, that's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened anyway? They made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I I never got adopted, and then I turned 18 and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! Wow! She said she was just going to give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy, like, a house! Holy guacamole! I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow, a house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but 
I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we. It even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing the ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that 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 gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I can. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the stairs anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's, it's, it's very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who, who um, came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, did, did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die, Cappy? No. Bad hip gave out on me. Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Oh, I can't believe that Mitch didn't make it on Survivor. Oh, that's the saddest ending I've ever seen. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? Oh, you smell terrible. When was the last time you changed your pajamas? And by the way, it's noon. Why are you still in your pajamas? Daisy, can't you see I'm busy? Mitch just died on Survivor. Molly, that show isn't even real. It's so real. In my heart, it's real. Ugh, I gotta eat some more Doritos. It'll make me feel better. Molly, you're getting crumbs all over the couch. Ugh, you're the laziest sister on the planet. What are you talking about? I, I'm not lazy. I, I'm just choosing this life. What is that you have? Some college applications. Daisy, you're not going to college next year. I like to be overly prepared, and I'm thinking either Harvard or Yale. Yale or Harvard. I'm just thinking, I'm not going to make it through the rest of my life now that Mitch is dead. Molly, you really start... You need to stop thinking about your future. Um, I am? 
I'm sitting on the couch watching Survivor eating Doritos. Sounds like an amazing future. Buddy, I'm telling you, if you don't get it together, you're going to be homeless, living in a box behind Bookhaven Dino. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. I speak the truth, Molly. Well, how about this? I use that fancy smancy time machine that you created in your secret lab, and I go to the future and see what it's like. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. But first, I need to have enough energy to get to the future. Which means I gotta eat this entire bag of Doritos. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, brother. I can't even begin to imagine what your future's gonna look like. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, I'm sure it is. Sure, 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 sure. And also sure. Wow, you're annoying. Hopefully you're less annoying in the future. I hope I'm more annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. You couldn't even bother to change out of your pajamas. Why? I want to be comfy in the future. <sniffs> Ew, Molly. I got a little too comfortable. <laughs> Molly, step into the time machine, please. Okay, well... See you in the future! Molly? Oh my gosh! It worked! She vanished! What's this place? And why is it in my future? Oh my gosh, I have no food to feed any of my children! I hope Luke stopped at the grocery store like I asked him to. Honey, sweetie, I'm home! And I got a new little baby for you! Another little baby? Holy guacamole, that's a lot of babies. I named this one Jerry. Oh, hi, Jerry. Honey, we don't really have any more money for kids. Well, I couldn't just leave him there at the adoption center by himself, could I? I guess not. Did you stop at the grocery store like I asked? We're out of milk and eggs and bread. How will I make French toast for dinner? It's your favorite. Oh, honey, I... I had to get some new wheels for my race car. I, I, I couldn't get any of that stuff. But I have to feed the children. Oh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. We could, we could go foraging in the forest for some stuff. And wild berries and crab apples and... Ew, you know what crab apples does to me. Oh, honey, that was a good one. <laughs> wow, it stinks terrible, though. Did you pick up the toothpaste like I asked? Um, no, I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't afford it. The wheels were so expensive. But, honey, I only have... Um, wait, let me count my teeth again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... I only have seven teeth left, okay? And one of them is giving me a toothache. Like, I need to start brushing my teeth. I need toothpaste before I lose all of them. Mommy, I'm hungry. Oh, Susie, I'm sorry, but your daddy didn't pick up any food. Maybe we could chew on his race car wheels. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but when I win that big race, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have all the money in the world. We don't even have a couch to sit on. Luke, why did I marry you? That was the worst day of my life. I made a horrible decision. Well, I've been working down in the Quickie Mart. I don't see you having a job. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, Mandy. Oh, wait, what was your name again? You never gave me a name. You said you'll get around to it, but you had too many other kids. Oh, well, um, well, you look like this girl I went to school with. Your name is Sarah. Yeah, that's it. Well, honey, why can't you get a job? Well, look at all these kids. Who's going to watch all of them? Oh, yeah, and there's also 10 more at school right now. They'll be getting home soon and want something to eat. We better go look for those crab apples. Maybe you could make a pie. I told you, I don't know how to make a pie. I didn't pay attention at home ec class. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have gone to college. There's a lot of these kids we need to feed. Ah! This life's terrible! I'm running away! Oh, I'm sorry, but the kids are going to follow you. Mommy, where are you going? We need to have a mommy. Ah! My future is so terrifying! <laughs> it's time to bring Molly back to the present time. If she's in the future too long, she might have what's happening there and we can't have that happen it would tear apart time and space mommy you're back whoa uh, that was weird time travel kind of makes me feel like i'm gonna throw up or fart ew mommy daisy my future was as dismal as you thought 
clearly. Tell me all about it. I would like to take some notes on this. No time, Daisy. I have to change what my future is going to be. Or, or I'm going to be doomed! Molly? Are you vacuuming the floor? Where's my daughter? What have you done with her? You must be an alien that's taken over her body. No, Mom. It's really me. I, I, I just I made a mess with all the Doritos I ate earlier, and I, I wanted to clean them all up. Molly, are you feeling okay, sweetie? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Next, I'm going to do my homework. What? Molly, turn off that vacuum right now and talk to me. Mom, I don't want my future to be as dismal as I thought. I, I saw it. Wait, you saw your future? What are you talking about? Never mind, Mom, but but I, I got to study because I got to go to college. I, I, I don't want to have 7,000 kids in the future and not know how I'm going to make them French toast. Molly... I'm worried about you. Maybe you should go lay down. Do you have a fever? No, I'm serious. I, I, I want to be successful in life and be a good mom and and not marry a race car driver who only cares about buying new tires for his race car, who talks a lot like he's um from Texas. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Texas. We're from Texas. I love Texas. Uh, yeah, you do have a point there. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm glad you're turning over this new leaf, Molly, and um, keep up the good work. But are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, Mom. I just, I just, whoa, is Survivor on? Mitch, is that you? Mitch, you survived! Okay, um, yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Definitely have to watch this. Bring it on, Mitch! Bring it on! But Molly, I thought you were turning over a new leaf. If it means that I miss out on watching Mitch survive this terrible fate, then I guess I'll just have to be a loser in the future. <laughs>
Marley is here! And where? Um, okay. Where'd he go? Is he still behind me? Um, guys, I don't... Uh-oh. Look at him. Ah, there's a pop-up! No fair! Ah! <laughs> in here? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, is he still following me? What? He can follow us into the next stage? Okay, I'll take the annoying guy back that talks too much. What's up with this muscular guy? That's what Mr. Bob is mad about. He's like, why can't I look like that? Why? Wait a minute. I went the wrong way. What? Mr. Bob's still chasing me. <laughs> kind of I am so lost right now. I don't even know where I should go. Keep running. Okay, thanks, uh, Captain Obvious. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be the case. Oh, well, here he is. Whoa, you made it past him. Thanks for getting me here. Now it looks like... Beep, 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 beep. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Many, many minutes later. You're really super annoying. Rolling stones. Okay, I haven't even died once, which means this obby is way too simple. You've never played an obby before in your entire life. This is a good one. Molly, watch out for these axes. They're tricksy. Um, yeah, I just ran through that one and it didn't even kill me. That was crazy. Watch this, guys. I don't... Oh, maybe the golden axe will kill me. I don't know. Where are you, Daisy? I'm right here, Molly. Ooh, is this a speed run? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Here, Molly, one last jump. Come on. I don't think we're ever going to get out of Mr. Bob's museum. Uh, no, Molly, we need to find a ladder somewhere. Uh, I found the ladder right here. That was so easy. Oh, what happened? I fell below the game. Um, that was not a fair, uh, death right there. I'm just saying, uh, that one doesn't count because, like, I died in the weirdest way ever. But you still died, Molly. Um, yeah, but, okay, now there's no ladder. What? What am I going to do now? Oh, 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 I can't get past it. Oh, wait. The ladder disappeared. <laughs> weird glitch in the game. <laughs> so weird. So crazy weird. Ooh, an air vent. Wait, it says we're supposed to go up. Do we need to turn it on? Oh, wait, I think that's what this button does. Start elevator. Press E. Whee! Okay, this game is getting a little bit more fun now. <laughs> uh, Daisy, which way are we supposed to go? Duh, Molly, the giant red arrows. Oh, is there somebody chasing me? No one's chasing me. Would I like to buy a freeze ray? <laughs> um, I could have used that when Mr. Bob was chasing me, but I'm pretty cool right now. Except for I'm running so slow. Why is this going? Wait a minute, is this going in circles? What? Oh, wait, no. Okay, it's like a maze. But it's the easiest maze ever. You still died in this obby, Molly. <laughs> you died in the easiest obby ever. Um, yeah, but it wasn't my fault. I grabbed the ladder and it threw me out of the game. Oh, but you still died. That's the point, Molly. Okay, but, but it wasn't my fault. No fair. Boing, 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 wee. Is this a conveyor belt? No. It might be, Molly, when you push that button. Um, okay, let's try it. Activate button. No, it's still broken. I don't know then. Maybe you have to turn on all the buttons. I don't really know. Oh my god, that time I died for real. I feel like such a noob. Say, do you want to skip the stage? No, I don't need to skip the stage. And I don't need a hoverboard. Why are you asking me so many questions? <laughs> Alright, at least that one's saved. Molly, you might want to try this thing called a double jump. Yeah, you might want to take your own advice. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely saying now I should skip the stage. <laughs> you stink at this game. Do you want to skip the stage? No. No, I don't. All right, let's see if Daisy get, is going to make it this time. Oh, she did. Okay, now I feel like totally ignoramus. <gasps> yes! All right, that time I made it too. Was that like a trick or something? You have to die three times and then you can make it over it? Could be, Miley. I feel like that's happened before. You and me both. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Big jump. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Just kidding. Um, Molly, 
And now we have to go push more buttons. What? How many buttons does this game developer want us to push? I don't know what to even do right now. What to say? Except for Daisy, that's rude! <laughs> Um, Molly, I can't help it. You act again like when Gracie goes totally insane. Cheesy macaroni. There's a lot of buttons to push here. Boing, 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 boing. Hooray! We made it through it! <laughs> um, Molly. Oh, we gotta, we gotta build some stages here, except for Daisy already is building them, so that's cool. missing that's a good thing it means we could just get on out of here daisy i think this is one of those games that just never ends molly <gasps> holy moly i hope not someone's at, uh, above us though in the game and they're at stage 18 and we're at stage 15 so we know we have at least three more stages to go whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that made me dizzy <laughs> dizzy did you really have a cupcake or were you just like full of it um i did have a cupcake but I just ate the last bite. What? You, 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 you didn't share it with me? Uh -oh. Okay. This is not cool, Daisy. Well, Molly, you snooze, you lose. Boing, boing. I wasn't snoozing. I was playing this crazy Roblox obby. Uh, now I'm going to have to go to the store, buy some Duncan Hines, and make myself some cupcakes. I feel like I talk about food, cupcakes, pizza, whatever in every single video I do for Roblox. <laughs> you do, Molly, because you obsess with your stomach. <laughs> well, I have to say, she's probably right about that. All right, guys, I just died again. It was so lame. It's because my brain was focusing on the cupcakes. I can't help it. It's just so delicious. Um, uh-oh. A laser wall! Oh, we ever get past this? I don't know, Molly, but I think we need to go down there and click that level. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious that we need to do that. Either that or it's gonna unleash a giant boss. Um, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna take my chances. But what other choice do we have, Molly? We definitely need to get through that wall if we want to escape. Trust me, I don't want to come back to this museum ever again. I kind of just, wait, where am I going? Um, okay, I do not want to step on that because he's going to talk to me, isn't he? He's going to talk, Molly. Ooh. Nice work! Now we need to jump down on that dropper! Um, okay, 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 fine. We'll jump down on the dropper, fine. But are we actually going to get out of here now? I think we are, Molly. I think we are. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, look at this laser maze they got going on down here. Holy macaroni! Wait, no, 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 I did really good, actually. Okay, this game is kind of easy. I only died a few times, so I'm pretty happy about that. Wait, is there no one to talk to me here? But where's my little friend? I miss him! Ha 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 ha, Molly! You've been complaining about him the entire time. Yeah, I have. Wait, are we angels or something? Like, we're glowing. What's going on here? I don't know, Molly. We might be. Um, I want to be a unicorn if I get my choice, so I'm just saying right now. Hello, I don't want to grab any coil. You should only have to click on that one time in the entirety of the game. Seriously. You don't need to ask me a thousand times if I want a gravity coil. The answer is still the same. 
They think that maybe after you stink at the game for so long, you'll pick yes. <laughs> well, they do have a point there. All right, is there gonna be something up here that kills me? I know. Sometimes you climb a ladder and there's something at the top that's like, boom, totally kills you. Oh no, not this guy again. Molly, did you hear that? A mad duck. Hear what? I totally just like zoned out for a minute. You didn't even listen to what he said, did you? Uh, no, was I supposed to? Yes, he said there's like a duck or something. A duck? What? No, this is a museum. Why is there a duck in here? I don't know. Maybe he misspoke or something. Oh my goodness. Where's this duck? I don't see a duck. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Molly. Oh, uh, hopefully he's not down here because if he is, uh, I'm going to get eaten by him. All right, now I'm going to go over here, I guess, and turn on this one. Boing, boing, boing. Guys, I don't know if you like this obby or not, but like I said, they can't all be winners. You know what I'm saying, people? Sometimes, um, yeah, uh, the game is silly. I don't know what to say. Uh, Daisy, it looks like the boss is about to happen. Do you think this is where the giant duck is gonna be? Um, I, uh, yes! Rubber ducky, why you psycho? <laughs> Um, the duck is not even moving right now. Molly, what is this all about? I don't know. The duck's not moving for me. How about you? Oh, my God. I think he shoots, like, concrete at you. Ah! Oh, my God. This duck is evil. Go away, Mr. Ducky. We've got to push all these buttons before he kills us. Go, Molly, go. I'm trying, but... Ah! He killed me! Oh, that sort of delayed your action, too. Do I have to start over from the beginning? Uh, like, I don't even need the gun, seriously. Oh, no, I don't have to start over from the beginning. That's good news. Whoa, the game just got, like, super glitchy. Apparently, the duck is um, in control of my internet connection as well. What? That's one crazy duck. <laughs> now he's about to become Duck Duck Goose. What do you mean by that, Molly? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, I've got a gravity coil. I didn't even buy it. Boing, boing. <laughs> Wait, did I explode the duck? Oh boy, he came up here. Crazy little duck. Crazy little duck. All right, guys, I'm trying to gravity coil my way over there because this duck just got crazy town. <laughs> boing. All right, did the duck go away? Where's the duck? Oh my God, I don't know where the duck is, but I just made it to the end of the game and I got two gravity coils. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Put one on each foot, I guess. Yes! Okay, let's just be honest. This is your very first hobby that you ever made, right? Because, um, uh, well, uh... Molly! I'm just saying, I was a little bit noob, you know? Just just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, it was still fun. Yeah, and now it stopped raining, so we can actually go outside. Or we could play Blacksburg. Yeah, I think we should do both. We should go outside and play Bloxburg. All right, where is my award that said I made uh -oh. it through this game? That's what I want to know. Ooh, paint yourself. Paint yourself. Blue. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, I look like I'm frozen. Look at me. All right, Daisy. This game was, um, well, something. Look at me, Molly. I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am, Molly. Totally. And you're a demon. Like, no, I'm not. If I was a demon, I would probably be this color. <laughs> oh, brother. You mean, oh, sister. Demon <laughs> sister. <laughs>for prom dresses today. Yes! Molly, the prom is on Saturday. Of course we do. We want to get an amazing dress, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't really know if I care about going to prom. Molly, how could you even say that? Prom is amazing. Well, I've heard it is anyway. I haven't been to one yet, but I know this year will be perfection. Okay, well, if you say so, let's go. Oh, no. Look who's in Rockstar. It's Sarah. Oh, look who it is. Sarah, what are you doing here? I'm, um, uh, looking for a prom dress. Duh. Oh, we are too. Um, hopefully we don't buy the same one or anything. 
yeah, no, my taste in clothes is so amazing. You guys would never pick the same thing as me. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's try some stuff on. I know I'm gonna look so cool in this. Uh, Molly, that's a tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Um, um, how about this? Uh, Molly, those are sweatpants. Can you try a little harder here? Ooh, I love this one over here. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> are you being assisted or helped by anyone? Uh, no. What, were you going to the bathroom or taking a lunch break or something? Like, no one's even welcomed us into the store. Wait, what? Sarah, you're supposed to welcome the customers. Why should she welcome the customers? She's a customer too! No, she's not. She works here. Uh, yeah, uh, uh... Wait a minute, you have a job? Aren't you rich? Uh, well, uh, like... Fine, whatever, but don't tell anybody at school. My dad lost his job, and I'm trying to afford my prom dress. I'm never gonna be able to afford it now. I, I'm only gonna be able to work one week. That's not gonna be enough. What? What did she say? Oh, Sarah, we know how much the prom means to you. Molly, can I see you over here for a minute? Whatever. I, I, I'll be there and I'll have a new dress somehow. Molly, we should, we should like pool our money together, whatever's left over from buying our prom dresses, and we could buy Sarah a prom dress. <laughs> buy Sarah a prom dress? Why would I do something like that? She's nothing but a rude bully to me 90% of the time. But Molly... She wants to go to the prom so bad. Why, so she can bully me the whole time she's there? Molly, what happened to your heart? It used to be so kind and caring. Yeah, but not towards bullies. Molly, that doesn't sound like you. I wish I could go inside your heart and see, see what's wrong in there. Wait a minute. Maybe my new potion at the science lab could let me go into your heart. What? What are you talking about? No way. Molly... We have to know why your heart is so closed off. Fine. I guess we could find out. But I'm not buying her that prom dress. I'm not doing it. Okay, according to my calculations, this is going to work perfectly. Now, I'm going to need you to hold completely still. I think this is a terrible idea. Ay, of course you would. You've hardened your heart to the whole world. No, just to bullies and people who annoy me. And, well, um, anybody who gives me detention. Exactly my point, Molly. Now I have to take the potion and shrink down. Ooh, delicious. Is that the potion? No, it's a shamrock shake from McDonald's. But boy, is it delicious. Daisy, quit monkeying around. If you're going to do this, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Ugh, I should have made this taste more like the shamrock shake. Is it working? You still look like you're the same size. It'll work any minute now. I think this is experimental. It didn't work, Daisy. Hold on. Be patient for a change. Oh, wow. I'm getting smaller. Whoa. This feels weird. Tell me about it. <whistles> Hi, little doggy. Oh, do you not have anyone to love you? <laughs> You're homeless? Oh my gosh. Well, here's a delicious cheeseburger I just got from Starbucks. Maybe you'd like to have some. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll help you find the perfect home. Oh, look at Molly. She's helping that poor homeless dog to find a new family. And she's sharing her Starbucks cheeseburger with it. She must really feel like she's in a giving spirit today. I think I should name you, um, Chocolate Milk. <laughs> You're so adorable. Come on, Chocolate Milk. Let's go. Well, here's one time that Molly was definitely kind and her heart was wide open. Now I've just got to find others and to prove that she actually is kind-hearted. Hopefully I don't find anything evil in her heart. Huh, <sighs> that was the longest attention I've ever had. Oh man, oh, it's like 10 miles to my house. I don't want to walk that far. Oh, hey Luke, what are you doing here so late at the school? 
Oh, I had basketball practice, and now I was gonna ride my bike home, but I have a flat tire, and it's a 10 mile walk to my house. Oh, don't worry, I've got my little car here. I could totally give you a ride. Aww. You would? Seriously? Yeah, why not? Come on, hop in. Oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver, Molly. Do you need money for gas? Nah, I've got enough gas for the both of us. Oh, Molly. Sorry, <laughs> I had a bean burrito for lunch today. Now, your house is this way, right? It sure is, Molly. You're a great person. Here's another time that Molly's heart was full of kindness when she gave Luke a ride home from school. Ah, oh, Molly, where did you lose your beautiful heart at? I better start taking some notes on this. Well, Ethel, if you can't pay for your bill, then you're going to have to come in the back and wash dishes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chef. I, I didn't realize that I, I didn't quite have enough, and I was so hungry. You know I am on a fixed income. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the restaurant rule. You have to do dishes if you can't pay the bill. But my arthritis is so bad. I don't know how I'll pay. What? He's going to make this old lady do the dishes? Nonsense! Hi, Ethel. Uh, my name is Molly, and you remind me so much of my grandmother. I was wondering if it would be all right if I just paid for your bill entirely because you just seem like such a nice lady. <laughs> like I said, you remind me of my grandma, and I love my grandma. Oh, dear. You would do that for me? Absolutely. Um, here, Chef. Here you go. Um, here's all the money for her bill and mine, too. Well, that's very nice of you, dear. Thank you so much. And um, make sure she gets some pie to take home, too. Any kind she wants. Oh, dear. You are the nicest girl in all of Brookhaven. Wow. Molly actually gave away some of her money to pay for Ethel's um, food? Holy guacamole. I've seen all that I need to see. Molly's heart is actually good. Whoa! Daisy, whoa, that feels so strange. Ugh, get out of my heart. So, what'd you find? That I'm rude and cruel and mean, right? Um, on the contrary, Molly. I found out you're the most kind-hearted person in Brookhaven. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no, seriously, Molly. All you have to do is remember that you're so nice. First, I watched you rescue a homeless dog. Then I watched you give Luke a ride home so we didn't have to walk 10 miles. And then I watched you pay for an old lady's lunch at Brookhaven. Dino, you're definitely not a bad person. You just have to remember that you're very giving. But, but Sarah, she, she's a bully. Yes, she's sometimes a bully. But just because she's mean sometimes doesn't mean you have to be. You can be whoever you want to be. You need to like yourself when you look in the mirror every day. Hey, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, your actions are totally separate than Sarah's actions. Sarah can do whatever she wants, but at the end of the day, you have a clear conscience because you did what was right. Wow, I guess you're right. Besides, I like being nice. It makes me feel good. I guess we can pool our money together and buy Sarah that prom dress. Very good decision, Molly. I'm actually really proud to say that you're my sister. Really? That's a first. Yeah, you're really nice, actually. Except for that time that you decided to put slime in my pillowcase. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. <laughs> I should have won the best prank award. <laughs> longer is this wait gonna be excuse me my wife she's she's in a lot of pain and 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 i need to know how much longer the wait's gonna be oh sorry sir we have a lot of people ahead of you someone came in and had a heart attack and i know but my wife she's she's pregnant and uh how far along is she um she's seven months oh wow she still has two months to go though please she's in pain she needs help okay let me see what i can do sir Hi, miss. I'm Nurse Judy. Can you please help me? My stomach hurts so bad. 
Okay, well, let's get you into exam room one. It just opened up and uh, we'll take a look. Now, your husband says you're about seven months pregnant. Is that correct? Yeah, seven months. My sweet little baby, we've already picked out her name. Yeah, but I'm a little worried. I mean, my wife shouldn't be in this much pain, should she? We've had two other children and, and she didn't have this much pain with the other two. Well, it could indicate something wrong. Are you a doctor or a nurse? I'm just a nurse, but we're short-staffed today, so I'll be the one examining your wife. Okay, I... I hope everything's gonna be okay. Let me just get some gloves. All right, I'm going to fill your stomach. This shouldn't hurt. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's wrong? Is there something wrong? Well, it seems that you're in labor. Say what? She's got two months to go with her pregnancy, though. I know, but this is just something that happens sometimes. We need to move her into the um, regular hospital and out of the emergency room immediately. Okay, well, thanks for getting her seen. I mean, she might have had her baby right on the floor if you hadn't got her in this room. Oh, somebody get me a puke bucket. Oh my gosh, are you going to throw up? Here you go. Here's a puke bag in case you need it. Oh boy, this is going to be a long night. I can tell already. Okay, Miss Laura, just jump right into this bed over here. Well, not jump, because then your baby definitely would come out on the floor, probably. <laughs> um, go ahead and just get into this bed right here, and I will take you up into the maternity ward. I'm right behind you, honey. I'm right behind you. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I hope my baby's okay. Laura, we're going to take the best care of you ever. Everything's going to be A-OK, -okay, I promise. You can't make that promise, though. You don't really know. Well, I've seen a lot of babies born two months early, and usually they're just fine. Okay, Laura, we're just going to take a little bit of an x-ray here and make sure that your baby is doing okay. You mean besides the fact, Nurse Judy, that the baby's coming two months early? Well, babies just decide to come when they want to come. All right, I'm going to need you to step out of the room while I do this ultrasound, please. Really? Why? Because you're super nervous, and you're making me nervous, and I don't want you to make the patient nervous. I'm just so sad. Like, I thought I had two more months, and, and the nursery isn't done yet, and... Laura, everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, it looks like your baby hasn't turned yet. Well, it looks like you're going to be in labor a little bit longer. Let's take you to the labor room. OK, Laura, I'll be back to check on you soon. Um, Dan, I don't think you're allowed to play video games on the computers at the hospital. They use those to, like, check up on patients and stuff. Um, Laura, I think it's fine because you've been in labor already for like 12 hours and I need something to keep me awake. I've already drank like 40 cups of coffee. How do you think I feel? I'm the one having the baby. Oh. Everything's going to be okay, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Dan? Dan, where'd you go? Dan? Is he seriously sleeping in the baby crib? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my stomach. Oh, Dan, go get the nurse, quick. Oh, what? Oh, is the baby coming? Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it, honey. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh, I was so crammed in there. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh. Okay, the patient in room two is doing well. The patient in room four needs her meds. Hurry, my wife, she's having her baby. Nurse Judy, get the doctor. Oh, unfortunately, there's no doctor on duty right now. We're really shorthanded. Wait, what? Oh, my wife, she's having her baby. Don't worry. I'm assisting the doctor every single day, so I'll be able to help you. Help me what? Deliver this baby? Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Nurse Judy, where's, where's my doctor? Um, well, your doctor's on vacation in Tahiti, and we're a little shorthanded. Wait, what? Dr. Smith isn't here? Um, honey, try not to panic. All right, let's just check you. Everything's going to be fine. I'm a nurse that works with this doctor all the time. And um, basically, I've helped deliver just thousands of babies. So it's going to be fine. Oh, my. Your baby still hasn't turned. Okay, I hate to tell you this, Laura, but you're going to need to go to the OR. Wait, what? Why? Because you're going to have to have a C-section to have your baby. Oh, M-G, today just keeps getting worse and worse. 
Dr. Brittany, I'm so glad you could make it here. Our, our patient, she needs a C-section. Oh, I'd be happy to help. Um, she's really a doctor? Yes, it's Dr. Jansen. She's very, very good at delivering babies. Okay, I'm just glad a doctor was able to be here. I mean, I know you're shorthanded. Yeah, but Dr. Jansen was able to come in on her day off so we can get this baby delivered. All right, Laura should already be asleep, so I'm just gonna give her a shot to make her extra comfortable. Oh, honey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, now we're just making sure that she's nice and comfortable, and then we're gonna deliver your daughter. Who's ready to be a parent? <laughs> well, Laura's asleep, so she won't hear anything, but Dan, are you ready? Um, I'm a little nervous about this. I'll be careful. She's a doctor. Of course she's going to be careful. Okay, Nurse Judy, but she's the love of my life right there, and, and she has my baby, and, and, and I want them to be okay. Okay, Dad, try not to freak out. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything's going as expected. All is well. Is there anything I can assist you with, Dr. Jansen? Um, no, I think I've got everything under control. I see the baby, and here she comes. Okay, Nurse Judy, get ready to catch that baby. She looks extra slippery this time. <laughs> Is that my daughter? Well, do you see anyone else delivering a baby in this room? Of course it's your daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I just delivered a baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm super, super amazing. If I wasn't a doctor, I would totally be a famous dancer. Uh, Dr. Jansen, don't you think we should weigh the baby? Oh, yeah, we should totally do that. Come on, let's weigh her. Whoa, she's barely four pounds. And she's breathing a little funny, Dr. Jansen. Oh, let me take a look. Oh, uh, yeah, she definitely is going to need a NICU stay. What? A NICU stay? But, but... Yeah, let's take her to NICU right now. I should get something for Laura for when she wakes up and baby Kira and NICU. I just can't believe my baby is only four pounds. I hope she's going to be okay. I just I want my baby to be okay. Where, where's my baby? Where's baby Kira? Baby Kira? Where, why did she? Why did she? Where is she? Honey, honey, calm down. I got you some beautiful flowers and... Where is my baby? She's, she's in the NICU. In the NICU? Why? Well, she was having a little trouble breathing and she was barely four pounds. Oh my gosh, because she was two months early. Oh, poor baby Kira. I want to go see her. Well, honey, you just had a C-section. That's an operation. I think you should rest. Take me to my baby right now! Okay, honey, okay. I'm so excited to meet our baby sister. I know. She's going to be so adorable. I know it. Hey, wait, there's Mom. Mom? Are you okay, Mom? Uh, girls, try to talk quietly. Your mom's a little upset right now. Wait, where, where's the baby? Why is she in this room and not a regular room? Yeah, what's going on, Mom? Are you okay? Girls, I had to have an operation. An operation? Mom, why? Um, well, you know, your sister came early, and that meant she was only four pounds, and she was having some trouble breathing. Oh, M.G. Mom, are you all right? Is, is baby Kira all right? Um, we're both okay, honey. I'm just gathering up my strength now to go see her in the NICU. Can we go too, Mom? Yes, you girls can go, but you have to make sure you keep wearing your gloves. And wash your hands a lot. We will. We will, Dad. We will. I just want to meet my baby sister. O.M.G. Look at her. She's so adorable. Oh, great Molly, you already made her cry. It's probably because she knows you're going to be your sister. Oh, I can't believe my baby is a NICU. Don't worry, Mom. She looks like she's doing amazing. I want to hold her. We should probably let Mom hold her first. Mom, do you want to hold her first? Yeah, of course I do. My sweet little baby. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. And I'm your big sister. Oh, look at she's sucking on her pacifier. Oh, 
Molly, I think you're going to be a great big sister. And I think baby Kira is going to be just fine. Hi, baby. Welcome to the family. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm watching this YouTube video about how this one sister pranked her other sister and she didn't talk to her for 24 hours. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. I totally want to do that to my sister Daisy. She'd be like, why aren't you talking to me right now? I'd be like, sorry, Daisy, can't talk. Um, Just seriously, I can't talk to you right now. She would not know why. <laughs> it would be super awesome. Ugh, super smelly. Gotta take a bath. Ah, so relaxing. Do, 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 do. Now I want to go see what's in the refrigerator. Hi, Bali. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to start my prank now. Molly, did you hear me? I said good morning. Sheesh, what's wrong with Molly right now? She doesn't even want to talk to me. Molly, good morning. Maybe she listened to her music too loud last night and now she can't hear anything. Huh? Did someone say something? Huh? Thought I heard someone talking. Molly, that was me. I got back into my room then, Molly. Bye, if you're going to be rude. <laughs> my plan is working already. 24 hours of ignoring my sister. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to share my pancakes with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at these delicious pancakes. Mmm. <gasps> I'm super good at making pancakes. I love making them so much because they taste delicious and I just love them. Ha! Look what the milk says! Mad cow! <laughs> I love when my mom gets this kind. It's hilarious. Oh yeah! Time for some pancakes! Ooh! Pancakes! Molly, could I have some? Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Molly, could I seriously have some? Molly, where are you going with the pancakes? Molly, come back here. I want some pancakes. Molly. Molly, why are you being so weird right now? Oh my gosh, I think my sister, I think my sister must be not able to hear me. Molly! Molly, can you hear me? Hello! Oh my gosh! I don't even know what's wrong with my sister! <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. My sister doesn't even know what's going on right now. Is she going to follow me? I hope not. I want to go eat these pancakes without her. Burr, it's freezing out here. <gasps> Look at all the snow outside. That must be um time time for Santa to come, seriously. Oh, man, it says I have to place them on a the counter. I can't eat them outside. Molly, what are you doing? Ooh, snow, snow. <gasps> it's snowy, it's snowy. Do, 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 do. Jingle bells, jingle bells. It's snowy outside. Daisy, that's not how it goes. Molly, you're talking to me. Oh, man. I didn't want to talk to you. What are you talking about, Molly? Why don't you want to talk to me? Molly, come back here right this instant. Ah, uh, sorry, Daisy. I can't talk to you. What? Why not? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, too busy eating my food. Yum, 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 yum. Molly, could I have a pancake? Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Oh man, I don't want to fail this prank. I'm, I'm trying to take this challenge of not talking to my sister for 24 hours, but she tricked me. Ugh, maybe if I just hang out in my room, she won't even know I'm in here, and then I can just ignore her for 24 hours. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. And I'm successfully ignoring my sister. Except for she's in my room. Why is she in my room? Molly, what are you doing? Ooh, the brightly colored unicorn. Can I watch? 
Molly, seriously, are you still trying to ignore me? That doesn't work, Molly. I'm watching it, Molly. I'm watching it. <laughs> Molly, I know you want to say something to me. I'm standing at your desk. I'm standing at your desk. Daisy, get out of my room. <laughs> Molly, I made you talk. Daisy, I'm going to get you. You made me you made me mess up the challenge. I'm so mad at you right now. Molly, seriously, that was a silly challenge to not talk to me. Yeah, right. Get out of my room! And don't come back! Ay, 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 sisters. Why am I dirty again? I'm always so dirty in this in this Bloxburg game. It's so weird. I just took a bath! Jeepers creepers. Ah. <sighs> At least my sister's not here. Now I can start the 24 hours of not talking to my sister again. <sighs> Peace and quiet. Molly, I see you. What? Oh my gosh, my sister's outside my bedroom window. You're crazy. Molly, stop ignoring me. I've got something amazing to tell you. Come outside. Oh, no way, Daisy. Yes, you have to come out. I have to tell you something right now, Molly. Look out your window. I don't want to talk to my sister because then it's going to ruin the, the prank. I'll, 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 totally, I'll totally lose the challenge. Molly, it's snowing. Come outside. It's snowing. What? It's snowing? It never snows in Texas. Oh, my gosh. She must be lying. She's totally lying. She's pranking me right now. Oh my gosh, it's snowing! <gasps> this means Santa's gonna come soon. This means Santa's gonna come! Daisy, where are you? Daisy! Molly, I'm right here! Daisy, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing! Daisy, don't you have anything to say? Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh, are you ignoring me now? What? You're playing the you're playing the 24 hours without and talking to your sister challenge? You're ignoring me, aren't you? Why are you ignoring me? Daisy! Daisy! Ugh, you're so much better at this game than me! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take the polar bear challenge. That's where you go swimming in the pool when it's snowing out. Guys dare me? Guys double dog dare me? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cold. Ah! <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> Burr, get me out of here! I have to go inside where it's warm. Uh, okay, Daisy, well, ignore me if you want, but I'm closing the door. Oh, man, she came inside. Come on, Daisy, don't ignore me. Daisy! Daisy! Molly, get out in front of the TV! Ha 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 I got you to talk. Molly, that challenge is much harder than I thought. Pranking your sister to not talk to her and ignore her for 24 hours is really hard. Yeah, even when you're an annoying sister like you are. Molly, I'm not I'm annoying. Yeah, you kind of are, Daisy. You kind of are. Take it back, Molly. No way. I can't take it back. It's true. <gasps> Molly. Anyway, Daisy, I'm going out and playing in the snow. It's going to be super awesome. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Daisy, I dare you to jump in the pool. Are you crazy, Molly? It's it's like 20 degrees out here. It's freezing. I don't think so. Come on, Daisy. I did it. Don't be a chicken. Block, 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 block. Okay, Molly, fine. I think this is crazy, though. Ah, how's that, Molly? Daisy, that's cheating. That's cheating. But I'm in the pool, Molly. Yeah, but you're not touching the water. Actually, Molly, boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. Boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. <laughs> Didn't you realize, Daisy, that a raft has a hole in it? <laughs> Ooh, Molly, I never thought of that. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I love when it snows out. It means Santa Claus is coming soon. I know, Molly. I love it, too. It's amazing. Well, do you think we should take the challenge of ignoring each other for 24 hours? No, Molly. Even though you're a naughty big sister, I still want to talk to you. Oh, that's the nicest thing anybody said to me, Daisy. Come here and give me a big sister hug. 
Daisy, are you a ghost? I just walked right through you. Oh my gosh, Daisy's a ghost! Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Toyota fans, thanks so much for watching. We kind of failed this 24-hour no-talking-to-each-other challenge, didn't we, Daisy? Yeah, Marley, we totally did because we were trying to annoy each other. I've, I made a snowball, Marley! I made a snowball, and now guess what? I want to throw it at you. You better not, Daisy! You better not! Okay, Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. <laughs> Molly, you wake up! And don't forget to hit the notification bell where you can be the one to see when we put out a new video. Daisy, don't you dare throw that snowball at me. <laughs> Molly, I totally am going to throw it at you. No way! Ah! Brrr, freezing! Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to be late for school now. Ugh, this is so bad. Ugh, I'm really hungry. I think the first thing I should do is go into the kitchen and make breakfast because I am starving. Then I'll take a bath afterwards because seriously, I am too hungry to wait. Okay, no, I don't want hot dogs for breakfast. Ew. Bacon and eggs, that sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's go over and start making them. Turn on the stove, put in the bacon and eggs. Ooh, they smell delicious. I really am like super hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. I knew I should have had a snack before I went to bed last night. Because I haven't eaten since like dinner and I'm yesterday and I'm just so hungry. Oh, hurry up and cook. You smell so delicious. I want to eat you, seriously. A little salt and pepper. Ah, perfect. Time to go eat. Hi, Gingerbread Man. Good morning. Okay, apparently I have to be standing up in order to play something on the table. Kind of silly if you ask me. Ah, time to eat. Oh my gosh! Ah! I just want to eat my breakfast and like, Bloxburg is being ridiculous right now. Okay, finally. Yum, 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 Ah, so delicious. I'm still hungry. I need another portion. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Bacon! Eggs! Delicious! Okay, I'm seriously full now. Ugh, I can barely walk. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, now I'm going to go in and take a bath and brush my teeth and stuff. Because, you know, you can't have funky teeth when you're going to school. Brush a 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 brush Ah, clean minty teeth. Now I'm going to go take a bath. Because you don't want to be stinky for school. I want to turn on. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's better. Whoa, look at what time it is! I better go see if I got my homework done. Uh-oh. I'm not quite sure that I actually did my homework. Uh, I better work on that right now. Let's see. Spelling. Oh, that's easy. C-A-T. How do you spell unicorn? U-N-I-C-O-R-N. Unicorn! Okay, how do you spell... Hey, did I just hear somebody knocking at the door? Ugh. I wonder who that could be. I have to go to school soon. I hope it's not like Bookie Cookie because, like, we can't play right now. We have to go to school. Ugh, it's Sarah! What is she doing here? Um, sorry, nobody's home. Whatever, Molly. I saw you in there. That is so rude. Open the door. Ah, uh, no, you didn't see anybody. It was just a ghost. Just a ghost, Sarah. Nobody's there. <laughs> Molly, seriously, I know you're in there. Open the door right now. I'm not going to stop knocking. Ah, uh, fine. 
What do you want, Sarah? I want to come into your house. Duh. Um, no, you can't come into my house. Goodbye. Molly, I'm going to tell your mom. Seriously? You're going to be a tattletale? Fine. Come on. What do you want? Well, I wanted to tell you that today we're having a party at school. A party? What? No one told me about a party. Well, I'm telling you about it because I'm the head of the party. You and head of a party? I don't think you'd ever be in charge of a party. What are you talking about? I'm uh, nothing. It's just that you're not very fun. Molly, rude. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a little rude. Sorry. Anyway, do you want to know what you have to do for the party so that you can come? Uh, yeah, okay. What is it? It's an ugly sweater um, Christmas party. What? That sounds like so much fun. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm totally serious. Make sure you show up today at school with your ugly Christmas sweater or you won't be able to come into the party. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Sarah. Okay, well, you have to get out now because I have to change into my sweater. Okay, Molly. Well, I'll see you at school. Don't be late and wear the ugliest sweater that you can. Okay, well, thanks, Sarah. Wow, Sarah actually wasn't mean for a change. That's strange. Okay, I better go into my closet and find an ugly Christmas sweater. Wait a minute. I don't think I have one. I think I'll have to borrow Daisy's. She won't mind. She's in a dance um, competition right now. Okay, let's see. I know exactly what I want to wear. It's going to be perfect. Oh, hey, man. Um, hi, Molly. Um, what are you wearing? <laughs> Uh, an ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party today? Um, Molly, I hate to tell you this, but, um, yeah, you look ridiculous. But Maya, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I did what everyone said to do. Um, okay, Molly, whatever. Uh, I have to get to class. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Maya. Oh, hey there, B. Um, Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> you look so funny. Uh, I'm wearing my ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party. Um, Molly, I don't think there's an ugly Christmas sweater party today. What? No, no, that's not true. Sarah told me there was. Um, no, Molly. Um, and I have to go because I have fishing class now. Uh, okay, but I think you're going to be sad that you didn't wear an ugly Christmas sweater. No, definitely not, Molly. Definitely not. Hey, Nicole, where's your ugly Christmas sweater? Um, who are you? Oh, it's you, Molly. <laughs> you look so funny today. Why are you wearing that? Um, because I thought there was an ugly Christmas sweater party. <laughs> who told you that, Molly? Oh, no. Oh, oh man. Oh, I can't believe she tricked me again. I'm going to go hide in the bathroom. At least nobody will find me in here in my silly sweater. Ugh, I feel so ridiculous. Now I'm wearing this silly-looking Rudolph sweater with with buck teeth. And, and it, I just, the sweater's itchy and it's just a horrible day. Ugh, maybe no one will find me in here. Hello? Is anybody out there? No? Okay, good. That means I can just keep hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I don't know why Sarah is so mean to me. Why does she always be mean to me? Oh, it's so ho horrible. I mean, now I'm going to be embarrassed because I'm wearing this ugly Christmas sweater all day. Molly, is that you that I hear in there? Oh, no. She's here. She found me. Molly, is that you? Uh, no. It's, it's not me. Um, Molly, I can totally tell that's you. No, no, it's not Molly. It's, um, it's not Molly. Molly, I'm coming in there. No, you're not. Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> Your sweater is so ugly. You look ugly. Hey, that's not nice, Sarah. Well, I'm just telling you that you totally look ugly in that sweater. <laughs> this was the best prank that I ever pulled. Seriously? 
You told me that there was a Christmas sweater party today for ugly Christmas sweaters, and I wore one, and there's no party, is there? Um, no, that was part of the prank. <laughs> and you totally fell for it. Yeah, because I'm actually a nice person, and you are not. What are you talking about? I'm totally nice. I just said that your sweater was ugly. That's not mean. Uh, yeah, it is, Sarah. Now go away. Are you really going to go out of here wearing that silly sweater in front of everybody at the school? Well, you know what, Sarah? I'd rather be in a silly sweater than, than to have that, that grumpy, mean, mean personality that you have. Because you know what? I can change my sweater, but you can't change how mean you are. Well, you kind of can, but you don't want to, so that just makes you totally horrible. What? Are you seriously talking to me, the popular girl like that? Yeah, I am. Now go away, Sarah. I'm just going to go to class wearing my ugly Christmas sweater. If somebody laughs, it's okay because it's like, you know, I'll just, I'll just own it. I'll be like, yeah, I wore an ugly Christmas sweater. Why didn't you wear one? What's wrong with you? You didn't want to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Where is everybody? I don't even know what class I'm supposed to be in right now. Okay, no. Is everybody in our class? I don't even know. Uh -huh, there's a student, but she's sleeping. Hey, can I sit next to you? Oh, this is perfect. They won't even know that I'm, I'm like, wearing this ugly Christmas sweater because, look. Oh, there you are, Molly. I'm going to paint your ugly Christmas sweater for everybody in the class to see. I'm writing your name first. Molly looks ugly. Sarah, I'm going to tell the teacher, go away. Ugh. Can you believe this girl? Uh, Sarah, I don't think you should be sleeping in our class. That's totally naughty. Uh, Sarah, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, okay. Gonna sleep through our class, I guess. Look at your ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> whatever, Sarah, whatever. I didn't want to go to art class today anyway. Just hang out in the library and read a book. What? All the books are gone! Holy moly! Can't believe everybody checked out all of the books. That's crazy. I have to escape. Whoa, why is the glass broken in here? Oh my gosh, you can't go in that room. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I'm like literally trying to find a class that Sarah doesn't know I'm in. Okay, shh. She's coming. She's coming. Shh. Don't tell her I'm in here. Molly, where are you? Oh my gosh, run! Okay, maybe I'll go into history class. Nobody will be in there. I can just hide in my ugly sweater all by myself. Molly, where are you? Oh no! Maybe she'll just walk by. Molly? Come on, I want to see your ugly Christmas sweater some more. Molly! Oh my gosh, run! Where is everybody? They must be at recess. <gasps> can I go in here? Maybe I can hide in here. She won't see me back here. Molly, where are you? Molly! Uh, where did she go? I want to tease her some more. can't even find her. <gasps> there you are! Ah! Oh my gosh, why do you keep by? me go away is it not enough that i wore this silly sweater and now you have to just make fun of me all day get out of here okay somebody else help me who was that another student hi hi um can you help me she's totally bullying me right now oh my gosh really molly i'm so sorry to hear that sarah stop being mean whatever i mean look at her sweater it looks ridiculous here let's paint it a different color get out of here Oh my gosh, I have to call my mom and go home. She's going to come pick me up. I just know it when I tell her what happened. Oh my gosh. Oh, we can run faster than Sarah. Huh, huh, huh. She's super fast. I know, I saw her at gym class last week. Excuse me, um, Principal Keys, I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure, Molly, what is it? What can I help you with? Um, help, something's wrong. What's going on? Um, okay, never mind. 
You don't want to tell me? No, not really. I just, I don't, I don't know. It's okay, Molly. You could totally tell me what's going on. Okay, um, well, Sarah's bullying me about this Christmas sweater I wore. Oh, I see. Were you trying to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, she told me that basically, um, there was a party today, even though there wasn't. Oh, well, I think your sweater's pretty cute. I do, too. I mean, it's supposed to be ugly, but I think it's adorable. But she keeps saying it's uh, uh, totally ugly. No, Molly, that's not true. Don't let haters get to you. Okay, I'll try not to. And in the meantime, I'll have a talk with Sarah and tell her not to bully other students. Speaking of Sarah... Oh, there you are, Molly. Sarah, I think we need to talk. Uh, Principal Keys, I'm kind of busy right now. Sarah, have you been picking on Molly's uh Christmas sweater? Me? No, never. Liar! Sarah, I would like you to stop doing that, please. Um, okay, whatever. Ah, oh, finally! Principal Keys took care of this problem, and now I can wear my reindeer sweater all I want! <laughs> hey, Toy Rock fans, thanks so much for watching our role play today in Bloxburg and in Roblox High. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel for awesome videos like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Uh, I hope there's a huge pot of coffee this morning. Good morning, Molly! Daisy, you are too happy in the morning. Take down your happiness level until I've had my coffee. Wow, grumpy much? Daisy, don't talk to me until I've had my uh, coffee. So tired still. Mmm, that's delicious. I need another cup. Still asleep. And bing! I'm awake for the day! <laughs> Just like that. Coffee has magical powers, you know. Magical powers! Daisy, what on earth are you doing? Why are you standing at all the corners? I'm making a checklist, Molly, of all the different outlets, light switches, and things like that. Okay, my sister has lost her mind. What, did they put crazy in your coffee today? No, Molly, I have to do these repairs and things. I have to make everything baby-proof. Baby-proof? Wait a minute, why? Are you adopting a baby? <laughs> At my age? Absolutely not. I have a lot of goals, you know, and being a famous scientist is one of them before I have kids. Uh, so why are you doing this? Because, Molly, I've started a babysitting service. Holy guacamole, are you serious? That sounds like tons of work. Yeah, but you get $100 for watching a kid for a few hours while its parents have date night. A hundred bucks? Are you serious right now? That's tons of money. Yeah, Molly, and if you're willing to help me split the, the load of all the work of taking care of a kid, I'll give you 50 bucks. What? You'll give me half? Yeah, if you do half the work, half the diapers. Whoa, 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 I don't do diapers. Then you don't make 50 bucks. All right, fine, I'll do diapers. Then it's agreed upon. Oh, look! It looks like somebody's already calling me to babysit. Hello, Daisy's babysitting service. Hello, my name is Morticia Adams, and I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Daisy. How can I help you? My husband Gomez and I would like to have a date night through the cemetery. A date night through the cemetery? Um, okay. Uh, will I charge $100 per date night? Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat as far as the cemetery goes. Great. I'll bring my sweet little Wednesday by at 6 p.m. sharp. But don't feed her scorpion soup. She'll be having that for lunch. Goodbye. Scorpion soup? <laughs> she must be pranking me. Well, our first babysitting job, Molly. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Wednesday, you're only a year old, and you're already learning how to drive the family hearse. I'm so proud of you. Now remember, be on your worst behavior. <laughs> um, okay, Mom, I'll try my best. Look, it's my first babysitting job. Hi, come on in. Hi, I'm Morticia. Hi, 
like, I'm Daisy. I'm so sorry, darling, but you're going to have to stay with her. What? No way, Mom. I'm not staying here. Wednesday, just remember who you are and don't let this cheery babysitter bring you down. What would you say? I said, if you have any problems, make sure you don't call me. Gomez, I'm coming, honey. I can't wait for our walk in the cemetery. Hi, Wednesday. I'm Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to be here, but I have to be because I still need a babysitter. Oh, well, I have lots of games we can play. Everything has been safety proofed. What? That sounds so boring. Oh, my gosh. Do you still um poop your pants? Do you need like a diaper change? No, I've been potty trained since six months old. Whoa, that's amazing. You must be super smart, Wednesday. Hey, the cool babysitter is here. What do you mean the cool babysitter? The one that gives you Doritos and stuff. Whatever. I'd rather eat scorpions. Huh? What? Did she just say scorpions? Yeah, but it's some sort of prank. Her mom and her think it's hilarious. No, seriously. Scorpions are my favorite thing to eat. Well, try these Doritos instead. You're going to love them. Mm, these are pretty good. You are the cooler babysitter. Hey, this is Daisy's babysitting service. Molly's just naughtier than me, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And we Adams, we like to be naughty. <laughs> Well, then you'll love this activity. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, it was supposed to be the mature one. Stop that. Oh, my gosh. Hanging out at your house is fun. What'd you say your name was? Molly, and you can basically call me the coolest babysitter ever. Let's ditch that Daisy babysitter and get out of here. My mom will give you the hundred bucks all by yourself. Uh, sorry, Daisy, but I'm stealing your client. Molly, you better not. Molly! Let's go down to town. I'm sure there's something fun to do down there. Don't you want to drive? Drive? You're one years old. How are you going to drive? My mom lets me drive her hearse. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I know, right? How come you talk so sweet sometimes and other times you talk like a demon? Well, <laughs> I am part demon. Whoa, Wednesday. Um, Can I have the angel part of you back? Oh, no. There's no angel part of me. There's only demon. And then there's this part of me that I use just to trick people to think that I'm a sweet little human child. Whoa. <laughs> Wednesday, um, you're kind of weird, but I like you. Let's go eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream sounds delicious. This is the sweetest ice cream in Brookhaven. Whoa, delicious. Oh, man, she's got the angel voice on again. Wait a minute. Is she trying to trick me? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Where is everybody? They're supposed to be working and there's nobody back there. Okay, fine. I'll just scoop my own ice cream then. I want a scoop of mint chocolate chip. I want a scoop of bubble gum. Pretty much I want a scoop of everything. Mm. Okay, Wednesday, where are... Wednesday, where are you? Is she in the bathroom? Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Uh, I lost my, my kid that I'm babysitting. I should have known when she was talking like that angel that she was up to no good. That's how she was talking to Daisy. Oh, no. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, wh where's Wednesday? Um, so, um, I went and got some ice cream and... Molly, stop eating the ice cream and tell me where Wednesday is. Stop sticking the ice cream in my face, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I lost Wednesday. What? Why are you still eating ice cream then? Um, I eat when I get nervous. Molly, where is she? She's my responsibility. I don't know, but let's finish this ice cream and then we can go find her. Molly, put down the ice cream. Fine, okay. I thought you'd understand I eat when I'm nervous. Not a chance, Molly. Come on, let's go find her. Well, be careful when she talks like a sweet little angel and not a demon because it means she's trying to trick you. What? She can talk in two different voices? Yeah, one sounds like this. Hi, I'm Wednesday. That one is her, like, depressed demon voice. And then when she talks like, hi, I'm Wednesday. That's the one where she's trying to convince you she's all good and, and happy and stuff. And then she does something crazy. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find Wednesday Adams. If it's the last thing we do. Wednesday, where are you? Something tells me she doesn't actually want to be found. She's kind of naughty. 
Something tells me that she already got arrested. Arrested? Wait, no, no, wait. There she is! Come back here! What do you want? We're your babysitters! What are you doing? Hey, don't climb that ladder! You naughty little kid! Oh my gosh, I don't know if this was worth the $100. Are she getting in the helicopter? Aw, uh, Daisy, we might have a problem. Uh, I've never flown a helicopter before. You're one years old. You don't know how to fly a helicopter. Come on out of there. I'll give you some ice cream. Please, please. Uh-oh. Um, She fell down through and crashed it already. Uh, That's probably not good, Wednesday. It's okay. I'll just spawn another helicopter, and then I'll fly it around. You will not. You're going to have a timeout. Get back here, you little brat. Molly, we don't use those words with our clients. Hey, you're a brat! And I think that you need a timeout mega bad. Mega bad, baby. You scared Daisy and I half to death. I thought you were going to be good. Good? You were encouraging her to jump on the couch. Okay, maybe I'm not the best influence, but Wednesday, timeout chair now. What? I don't need the timeout chair. Don't use your angel voice with me, Wednesday. Timeout chair now. Fine. This is the lamest babysitting ever. Well, I guess you have to learn your lesson. No more running away from your babysitters. Well, parents are going to be here any minute, Molly. I don't know if they'll like that we gave her a time out. She deserved it. Naughty, naughty baby. Hello, I'm back. What are you doing? Where's my daughter? I'm exhausted. Your daughter is exhausting. She's very naughty. She tried to run away, so my sister Marley gave her a timeout. What? She got a timeout? Yeah, Mom. I'm so sorry. I won't ever let this happen again. I cannot believe you got caught. If you're going to be naughty, then you should see it all the way through and not get caught and put in timeout. Wait, what? You actually wanted her to run away and do crazy stuff? Yeah. It's how we Adams do things. You are a bonkers! Don't call me again to babysit. Some people just aren't your customers. Really? Because I was going to give you a thousand dollars. What? Okay, well, you're kind of my customer, I guess. So, will you watch my daughter every Saturday? I can make it rain. Whoa, the Adams are rich! Yeah, Wednesday can come stay anytime. But my rules are my rules. Fine. It'll be good practice for her to try to be a criminal, won't it, Wednesday? Do I have to come back here, Mom? Oh, don't try the angel voice with Morticia. She knows better. <laughs> Where do you think she learned it from? <laughs> Molly, let's watch Rags to Witches. Ooh, this show is awesome. Can't wait. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. It's your mother. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, what's going on? Well, dear, tomorrow's Christmas, and I was really hoping I didn't have to be alone. I could cook a big Christmas dinner if you want. Christmas? Um, uh, Mom, it's not even Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> You're a little head on your timeline there. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Oh, dear me. I have my dates mixed up again. Oh, I really do hope you could come for dinner anyway, even if it's not Christmas. I'm lonely and I miss my family. Oh, geez, Mom. Of course we'll come. Uh, we could leave tonight, spend the night, and then we could spend the day tomorrow playing board games and going for walks and, and, and talking. Does that sound fun? Your granddaughters would love to see you. Oh, yes, dear. That'd be fabulous. Okay, well, we'll leave in about 15 minutes as soon as we can pack our bags. Bye, Mom. Bye, dear. But, Dad, it's a new episode of Rags to Riches. We're going to miss it. Molly, Grandma's more important. Oh, Dad. Well, your grandma's kind of senile. I mean, she thought tomorrow was Christmas, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Don't you think we should go check in on her? Well, I guess you're right. And I haven't seen Grandma in a while. I do kind of miss her. Exactly. Now, go get your coats and your bags. Pack them up. We're going to see Grandma. Okay. Wait, what? Where are we going? We're going to spend the weekend with your mother-in-law. Aren't you excited? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait. Oh, man. I'm already 
last one to the car is a rotten egg. Whoa, it's like a blizzard outside. Uh, Mom, Dad, you better pack an extra coat. And, um, have you been outside recently? Holy guacamole, it's a blizzard out here. How are we going to make it to Grandma's house now? I don't know, but you can't let her down. We have to still go. Oh, <laughs> I have four-wheel drive and good tires on the car. I'm sure we'll be fine. Go get a coat on, Molly. Okay. Oh, my whole weekend is going to be at my mother-in-law's. Don't worry. Grandma's pretty nice, don't you think, Mom? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to eat her burned turkey. That's better. Now it won't be cold. Come on, Molly. Let's get going. Gotta go over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The car knows the way to carry us all to her house in the snow. Uh, Dad, I'm not sure that's how that goes. Don't worry, Daisy. Dad's just not a singer. Come on, honey. We don't want to be late. Uh, are you sure about this? I mean, it's a little cold out here and, and, and the weather is, well, horrible. Don't worry, Mom. We've all got our seatbelts. And Dad said this car is four-wheel drive. We'll be fine. Yeah, this car is, whoa, I'm sliding already. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I don't know what your definition of fun is, but the entire town is deserted. It's a blizzard out here. My mom really needs us to check in on her, honey. She said she's lonely. Oh, okay. Well, we should try to get there then. Go really slow. These roads are terrible. I can't see anything. It's it's almost a whiteout here. I think you took the wrong turn, honey. I think we're back in town. Nah, this doesn't look like town. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! We ran into the pool! Ah! Oh my gosh! Everybody try to open your door quickly! We don't want to drown! Oh my gosh, nobody else is out of the car. I'm out, Dad! I'm out! Wait. We're all out. We're all okay. Wait a minute. Where's Molly? Molly! I'll go back in for her. Molly? Molly, say something. Uh, well, what happened? Molly, are you okay? Um, uh, I feel kind of, whoa, I'm feeling kind of weird. Do I look all right to you guys? Oh my gosh. Molly turned into a Happy Meal. What? But, 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 but how could that be? I mean, we got in a wreck and now she's a Happy Meal? Ooh, she looks delicious. I'm going to eat them. Hey, no! Don't eat me! I, 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 I can't believe I turned into a Happy Meal! Is this what happens when you almost drown? You just you just morph into something else? Come back here. I like Happy Meals. I want to eat you. Ah! My sister's going to eat me! I got to turn back out of a Happy Meal. How did this happen? Maybe if I jump back in the pool, it'll fix it. Okay, there's the car. I, I just have to swim down. Ugh. Does anybody know how a Happy Meal swims? Ugh. Ugh, I can't see anything. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to be a Happy Meal anymore. Well, her vital signs are good. I just don't understand why she's not waking up. No. No. I, I don't, no. I, I, no. Molly, wake up. Wake up. You took a massive bonk on your head in the accident. But we need you to open your eyes, Molly. Open your eyes! What happened to me? <gasps> no! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! Um, honey, apparently your Happy Meal is really upsetting our daughter. Sorry, that accident made me really hungry and we've been waiting a long time for her to wake up. I'm just starving. You better get rid of it before she freaks out and, and goes back into a coma. Okay, Molly, I need you to calm down. No one is a Happy Meal, honey. No one's a Happy Meal. I, I was! I was a Happy Meal! What is she talking about? I don't know, but I don't want a Happy Meal as a daughter. I want Molly! This is just normal. Sometimes our brains get a little scrambled when we get a bonk on the head. She definitely has a concussion. So, um, she's not a Happy Meal? Uh, no, of course she's not. She's still your daughter. Oh, good! What happened? Well, um, we were driving to Grandma's house... And, um, there was a really bad storm. Yeah, I remember all that. And then I accidentally drove us into the Brookhaven pool and you almost drowned. And apparently you think you're a Happy Meal now. Oh, 
my gosh. Where's Daisy? Is Daisy okay? Daisy's fine. She's just resting and drinking some hot cocoa to warm herself up. You're the one we're worried about, Molly. Actually, I feel pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Sit, sit down, Molly. Sit down. It's normal to feel a little dizzy and sick to your stomach when you get a bonk on the head. Is it normal to think you're a chicken nugget? Um, well, there's a first for everything. I knew it. I knew it! I'm strange because I think I'm a chicken nugget. That will pass, Molly, and everything will be fine. Uh, what we need you to do right now is try to go to sleep and get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Whoa, Daisy, what are you doing here? I I'm supposed to be sleeping. Mm, well, I just came to see you, Molly. It was very important. Oh. <coughs> um, sorry, I was just choking on this giant bite. What are you eating? You, of course. Mmm, you're the most delicious happy meal I ever did eat. Mmm, and all thanks to that accident. Huh? What? No! I don't want to be a happy meal! Somebody get me out of here! I can't be a happy meal! No! No! Okay, where's the exit? Oh, well, there it is. Oh my gosh. I have to get out of here. Ha! Huh? No one's allowed to eat me! Even if I am a happy meal! Do you hear that? No one can eat Molly! full of cool things like snacks in the kitchen. Is that all you think about, Molly? Um, yeah. Molly, I heard this is the Megan story. You know what that is, right? What? No. Oh, I'm too busy looking for cupcakes. Molly, Megan is a crazy, creepy robot. What are you talking about? Don't be crazy. Hey, guys, I'm a fan. I cannot believe that we're going to be in this Roblox house together. Oh, me either. <laughs> it's cool to see a fan. Come on, let's go check out some other places. They are here. This will be an awesome surprise for you all. What? What is it? What? What? I love surprises. What is it? Hey, Gamma. Mega is ready for alpha testing. Awesome. I hope this all goes well. What kind of alpha testing? Who's Megan? Rest assured, she won't start going cyborg, Gamma. <laughs> okay, we're definitely getting some sort of robot. Wait a minute. Is this the robot that Daisy was talking about that's totally crazy? Well, then. <laughs> Let's go. Um, what is that? Wow, hi, Megan. Hello, who are you? I'm Katie. Calibrating, calibrating, paired, paired. Let's draw something. She's not evil at all, Daisy. Look at her, she seems so nice. Okay, what's she drawing? I'm looking to see what she's drawing. Oh, it looks like a pretty picture or something. Uh, yeah, if you're a psycho! Megan, um, there's nothing on the paper. Maybe you need to recalibrate again. Oops, sorry. Whoa, she drew a picture of her. It's beautiful. It looks just like me. Wow, Katie, that's amazing that she could draw a picture just like you. Hey, Megan, will you send to our um be sent to our house later? Um, wait, she has to be given an e-heart, and then she'll be able to feel emotions. Okay, everybody, let's go back to the house. Alpha training is over. Wow, Megan seems really cool. I'm a fan, hi! Whoa, so many fans. This is like a Star Squad house right now. Molly, I'm telling you, this Megan, Megan girl is, is evil. Oh, Daisy, pish posh. Don't be such a, a nincompoop. Did you just call me a nincompoop? Hey, guys, look. I think Megan must be here. Oh, there's a box out there. Okay, yeah, that's definitely our Megan robot. She's so cool. I want her to draw my picture. Make me a snack. Like, preferably if she could bake me some cupcakes, that would be perfect. Hello, everyone. Oh, she popped out of the box all on her own. See, Molly, creepy. Not creepy. I was programmed to help you emotionally and physically. I know everything that has happened in the past, and I know 99% of human knowledge. It's insane, right? Totally. I don't like you, Megan. Come on in, Megan. It's great you're here. Katie's fine with her. Why can't you just be cool, Daisy? This is nothing cool about her. <sighs> okay, I'll go along with it. Hi, Megan. I'm Daisy. Um, I just want to know, um, can you dance? Of course I can. Watch this. Well, her dancing is pretty well basic, but you know, she can sort of dance. Oh, it arrived. We named her Megan. It stands for Model 3 Generative... Um, what was the last word? I can't even remember. I am not an it. I am a she. 
Of course, I was thinking, do you guys want to... I don't know what I'm thinking, um, but do you guys want to play at the park with Megan? Um, yeah, I think she's amazing. Let's do it. I don't know, Molly. I still have a bad feeling about this. Come on, Daisy. She seems super cool. Uh, who, who's, whose screen name is Candy Poopy? <laughs> Shout out to Candy Poopy. Is that when you eat way too much candy and uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, this park is amazing. Megan's gonna love it here. Megan, look, there's a climbing wall. Oh, she's going right up for it. Yeah, there's a climbing wall. Oh, how come I can't do it? Because you're not a robot, Molly. Well, I did it, so maybe I am part robot. Look, Megan. Why doesn't Megan have a mouth, though? That part is a little creepy. Like, what's she talking out of? Her armpit? Kitty, I thought I told you not to come here anymore. Go away, Brandon. Oh, great. A bully at the park. Just what we need. Who's ready for dinner? I got pizza for everyone in the dining room. Oh, where's the dining room? I'm starting. Starving. I can't even talk right. I'm so hungry. Why am I sitting on the couch? Pizza's not on the couch. Pizza's right here. I want to eat all the pizza. Put it in my tummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's some good pizza right there. Mm. Buddy, don't eat it all. Leave some for everyone else. Wow, it got dark out fast. Okay, time for bed. We have a lot planned tomorrow. Megan will go on her charger. Okay, where's Megan's charger? That, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Later that night. Come here, Brandon. You can't hide. <laughs> Nighty night, Brandon. Ugh, perfect way to start the day with a piece of pizza in my hand. Ali, if you have been holding that since last night at the dinner table, I may have slept with it in my hand. <laughs> Perfect breakfast, though. Mmm, delicious. Breakfast downstairs, everyone. Pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. Molly, you just had breakfast. No, I had first breakfast. <laughs> now I need second breakfast. Ooh, pancakes. My favorite. I thought pizza was your favorite. Okay, pancakes are my second favorite. I heard something outside last night. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder what it could have been. Everyone, look outside. Ah, is that jelly? Why would they waste grape jelly like that? We could... Or even raspberry jelly, because it's red. I mean, we could have eaten that on our pancakes. Okay, guys, I think that might actually be blood. Blood! Ah! Don't worry, I have a secret underground base. It'll keep us safe from whoever is killing everyone. Oh, okay, well, at least I brought my pancakes with me, because mm, how can you live without delicious food down here in this bunker? What? There's a bunch of robots down here? This is huge! Take whatever you need to protect yourself. Hmm. Well, pancakes are a start. Look at all this science equipment down here. It's crazy. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna take a first aid kit. Can I take one of these robots? <laughs> Wait, where'd you get that knife? I needed it, Molly. Um, it, it's important to survive this. <laughs> so, you have come to play? Let's play. Wait, where is she? I don't even see her. Okay, where is this crazy Megan? She's like invisible. Oh my God, there she is. She's crawling like some sort of dog. Spider, and she's chasing me, of course. And you know what, guys? I do not have... Oh, wait, I have a knife. Okay, this is good news. Okay, all right, I've had enough of you. Get out of here, lady! Crazy robot thing! Oh, boy. Yep, I need something to heal myself. All right, guys, I'm healing myself right now. Okay, I healed myself. Did I just die, or did I win? Um, I don't know what just happened, but a lot of other people... Wait, did, did I win, or did I die daisy no i think we but we beat him wait did we get a good ending or a ba bad ending I, I don't know molly th my thoughts on this are there's no good or bad ending what but the robot was bad well she was just i don't know malfunctioning not really bad just malfunctioning she's not human she can't be good or bad whoa that just blew my mind I didn't, wait now i'm disconnected oh my gosh what's going on here i'm back that crazy robot might still be alive because it was messing with my internet connection oh no megan lives megan lives um i really hope not what i was trying to say before she disconnected my internet was that there's no good or bad ending to this game because a robot can't be good or bad they're just a machine whoa mind blown all right guys we'll see you in our next video this one was kind of crazy bye